Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. Um, so if you haven't seen it, which I doubt you have seen it, most people have seen it. Um, I put out my 50th episode special for this where I recap everything that's happened so far. And holy, I did not expect the response that I got. <laughs> uh, everyone was super nice. I got a ton of really nice comments that really restored my faith in humanity. And we are here to continue it on. So our plan for today, I don't know why. I was going to join the Dawn Guard, which I'd assume had something to do with Dawn Star. But when I go to the... Okay, it's marked on the map. Look at this. It is all the way over here. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, and it's so long. <laughs> it keeps going. Oh my god, it's still going. Hold on. I can get an angle on this. Oh, no, I can't. No, I cannot. Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's quite a bit of text. I did not notice that, but I did notice it was behind Riften, which you'd think the Dawn Guard would be stationed in Dawn Star. But what the fuck do I know? Um. So for now, I think we're going to fast travel to my ship and then use my ship to fast travel to Riften. I think that's the plan for now, because I'm not utilizing this enough, honestly. My side and I think I barely know you. You are fucking kidding me. Uh, be right back. Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna go inside the cabin, and it's gonna leave us alone. <laughs> ah, this place sucks fighting a dragon. I can't do it. I'm gonna I'm a run away like a coward. Okay. So the dragon is gone now. We all agree. Uh, let's travel to Riften. I think that did it. I do not know. Do I have to... Do I actually have to go up and touch the wheel? Aw, oh, fuck. I didn't think about this. Maybe I do need to go up and touch the wheel. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe Dragon is indeed not gone. Oh, I think he left, actually. That's fun. Uh, Skyrim. Oh, that's cool. And we're gonna want to go to Riften. And we go. Okay, cool. Super neat. Okay. Neat. It's all dark. I think I'm gonna wait until morning. It's 10 p.m. Jesus. Come on. Chugging along. That's good enough. All right, here we are. No, uh, no bridge to get to, unfortunately. Is this just kind of in town? Oops, didn't mean to pull that out. Wee. Oh my God. I fell a lot farther than I thought it was gonna. Yeah, this just is in town, huh? Well, I guess that makes sense, because the, the college, traveling to the college. Oh, look, it's got a little ladder. Oh, how neat. Do I enter the ship from this ladder? No, it just puts me on top. Okay, well, that's cool. Wee. Get away. Um, so Riften is home to the Thieves Guild, if I believe what I remember. But we're not here to deal with that right at this second. 
Where the fuck? Oh, it's saying to go back on the ship. I don't want to go back on the ship. Is this an exit? Is this to Skyrim? Seems so. We're going to go behind Riften and we're going to join the Dawn Guard. Also, you'll have to excuse me if I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't recorded in anything in like two months. And so like, I apologize if there is a dip of quality. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, I am behind Riften, but I still need to go behind behind Riften. I think maybe there'd be a road right here, but we're just going to keep to the right of this big old rock. I sense a presence. He senses a presence, everyone. Death come what the fuck is hitting me? That squirrel? That squirrel put blood on my screen? Fuck you, I'm taking your legs, you little shit. <laughs> I had no idea that the fucking squirrels were so aggressive. What the hell? Okay. Are you aggressive? No, you're pussies. That's what I thought. Okay. God, this is beautiful. And I like how my buffs are still active. Are you aggressive? You're pulling out your sword. I don't like that. Fuck you. <laughs> oh shit, she's invisible. Ow, fuck me. Oh, my invisibility wore off. Whoop. Wow, that... Whoa. Dodge roll up into your asshole. You think you Fuck you. Gotcha, bitch. What were you protecting? This locked chest with 43 gold and an empty soul gem? Wow, I'm so glad you gave your life for that. What a hero. Ya dingus. Do I not have an iron quarter staff? No, right? I should. Yeah, I do. Stupid little symbol always making me second guess myself. King. King, really, just. Oh, and it's two handed. I have everything else. Let me. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Tilda, gotcha. Uh, King, 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 King. He's living under books. Am I stupid? I am. I don't know how to spell. Two-handed up to 72. Let's go, dude. I didn't even know it was that high. Excellent. Looks like we still got a ways off for our little thing here. Ruined tower. That's what that was. Interesting. Are you going to attack me? That's right, bitch. Fucking, I've got a beef with squirrels now. I hate this so much. Where's this nerd root at? You under the bridge? You little shit. I hate you. Can't stand you. Okay, we're almost there. Uh oh. Who the fuck are you? Dude? You're just a warrior? Brilliant. Brilliant! Thank you! I know I am. I am such a smart penis. Did I already pass it? Hold the fuck up. I did already pass it. Is it in a cave or something? Uh huh. Nope. I feel like I've been tricked. Um, what? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm looking this up. Give me one second. Okay, so I need to... F <laughs> That's what the big text was. So he's in Fort Dawnguard, which is southeast of Riften and inside Dayspring Canyon. 
So this, in fact, marker is shitting on my dick. Where is the fort? A spring past? Is that what it was called? Or my I'm already stupid for Day Spring Canyon. Huh. So it seems I still need to go this way. There is a fort symbol over there. So I'll try my luck there. Why? Why you got beef with me? I didn't do shit to you. Fuck you. Fork. Fucking dildo. Ooh, orcish boots. Exquisite. I don't have any of that. I will take that. I'll take your chicken breast. Ha ha ha. Okay, maybe this is the fort over here. Maybe my markers are still fucked up from fucking around with them all that time. I'm putting my weapon away. Hello. Uh, this is a goblin attack, guys. Mortal. I don't like how they were just jaunting casually towards me. <laughs> I'm gonna take everything you're worth, little gobbos. Ow. Okay. Hello. What the fuck are you? Fuck you. Oh, hell no, bitch. Fuck you, homie. Uh oh. Yeah, get him one of him. Yeah, it's my boy. Oh, my good boy. Randall the Berserker. What was his guard of rift and rifts are guard of the rifts armor? Jesus Christ, I cannot fucking read. Shit, I don't know what I took right there. Okay. You just killed this traveler. Ring of hunger. What the hell does that mean? I'll have to look at that in a second. Red loaf. Oh, he's in a marksmanship. He should have popped that retard. Um. The hell was I looking for? Ring of hunger. Ring of hunger. Absorbs health based on level from enemies within five feet. That's cool. Didn't help him much, but that's cool. What is this? Guard of the Rift shield. Take that. Hello? Can I not get in here? Ladder? Activate climb up? Oh ho ho, how jank. I love it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Looks like you've already been looted, buddy. Weird. I don't need this, do I? No. Can I continue to climb up? Come on. I saw it. There we go. Oh, a little treasure chest up here, eh? Nice. Amulet of the Dar. Okay, cool. Can I not go over there? I can't fucking jump, dude. What the hell, are you white guy? Party penis. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I can't go over there, actually. Is this the edge of the map? Is that why? Looks so. Okay, I'm gonna go discover this other little place right here. Oh, come on, man. There we are. Okay, let's try it here. Maybe this will finally be the one. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Am I just chasing ghosts? Hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, I, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. 
I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. Yeah. You suck, buddy. <laughs> but fine. I'll be a good little penis and keep your lie. But you're gonna have to get good real quick, huh? Oh, does that mean I have to use silver weapons? A rabbit's gonna kill me. I know you. You've I know you're kind. Killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure you yeah. sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. I hope he doesn't, because you don't seem like the type. No offense. That must be it. Fort Dawn Guard. Wow. Wow. Bigger than I expected. That's what I. That's no. That's what she said, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Where is everybody? This place looks almost deserted. Yeah, like nature reclaimed it. Shit, what the fuck was that? It sounded like a bear trap going off. You good? Okay. I keep thinking this is like ESO and I can cut these trees down. <laughs> hey, look a buddy. Hello, buddy. Is he wearing silver armor? Who are you? I'll tell you, guess the only thing more it. surprising than hearing from Isran after all these years was hearing that he wanted my help. I immediately realized things must be pretty bad. Looks like I was right. You worked with him before? I have. There was a time years ago when we were both members of the Vigilance. And both equally dissatisfied with them. I know those guys. Their hearts are in the They're right dead. place, of course. But Isran and I were never comfortable. We left together, but that partnership didn't last very long. I didn't agree with some of his methods. Uh oh. Sounds like he's a nice guy. Anything I can and help you, can you with? Help me. What do you it's want? All in this note. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Didn't mean to start a shitty quest. Isran will want to talk to you. Are you ready, kid? Ready to get your shit pushed in by a little vampire? Here to join the Dawn Guard. Hell yeah, let's go in. I don't know why Dawn Guard is so far from Dawnstar. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. It's true, I found and a bunch of dead of them. come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra. Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance. Everyone. They're all. It's true. I saw it. You were right. We were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well. I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. Oh. Done with that conversation. Come so talk to you? me. What do you want? I'm here to join the Dawn Guard. Or you were looking for vampire hunters. Just looking around. <laughs> I heard you were looking for vampire You're hunters. Right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some... An kind. artifact, you say? We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isran. One fit for a museum? Hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. 
Here. You got you it. Take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before you are. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You I also work along. I for. know what you think. Except for one of them. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I, I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here. Really? Take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. A uh, crossbow? I've yes, never... Yes, a crossbow. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. You need to concentrate, boy. Try it again. I mean, he's hitting the crates. You told him to aim for the crates. Are they just going to do this infinitely now? That's Wait, can it. I pick up? Continue. Want to think it out of the way. I'm farming bolts. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do this forever. Watch the recoil. Take some getting used to. There shouldn't be much recoil on a fucking crossbow. Or at least not that compared to a gun, but there's no guns, so I guess that is the only recoil they know. Um also, if you know the answer, write me a 300 word essay about why the fucking thing is so far away from the dawn guard. <laughs> uh, do it in the comments. I'll be very grateful and I won't read a word of it. Um, so that's where we need to go. Oh, son of a bitch. Can I not fast travel there with all those markers? Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's take off all these. Track vampire bullshit. That should be it, right? Yeah, there we go. Easy. A horse is back following me. I'm going to wait until daytime. Maybe? Game crash? No? Okay, cool. Oh, that made visibility even worse. Awesome. Thank Christ. Um... Hmm. I wonder if it's up this mountain. Looks like it, actually. I'm glad there's a path. I was getting real scared there for a second. Okay, cool. Also, I think... Yeah, I can level up. That and the stamina for sure. Um, am I almost there? I can't even tell. I can't judge the distance by that little icon. Seems like we're getting close. Yep. The crypt. In we go. Ah, oh, God, more bears. No, please shut up. Holy shit. Never mind. I'll get shit on. I'll get shit on. Sorry, hold on. Let me. Right in the ass. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn, they killed that snow bear super good. 
Hellhound. Master Vampire. Look at me already doing work. I don't need any of the claws, I don't think. Let me just double check. Yeah, no. I'm good on claws. Uh. Oh, I don't need that, actually. I thought I needed the... Elven Warhammer of Cancellation. 21% chance to interrupt the target spell during... Draining a quarter of its magicka. Huh. Cure disease. I will definitely take that. I'm sure that'll be helpful if I ever get hit by these vampires. Vampire armor. Do I seriously not need that? Whatever. I'll take those. Um, am I missing a chain to pull again? Oh, hello. Holy shit. That hurt my fucking ass. Cool. Oh, dude, I've been playing way too much Call of Duty. I thought that was attack insert, dude. Oh, fuck. That's too funny. Aha! Chain to pull. I was correct. Heal up a little. Back in we go. Wanathan? Hey, buddy. Come on. Gotta keep up. I am schmoving through this. Holy shit. Is that someone there? No. That is a rock. Epic. He had four gold on him. I'll take that back. Aha! I Got him! Then who the fuck are you? Oh shit. Okay, dude, calm down. Holy shit. Oh my god. No, wrong person. Oh my god, I can't fucking do this. Oh, uh, I'm getting stuck on geometry so fucking hard, dude. I can't even dodge. What if it? I can really use your help, dude. Oh my god, I can't get up this fucking thing. I'm dead. Alright, bitches, I'm back for round two. Where you at, homie? Hello? Yes. I'm trying to kill you. Does some Damn it. Live among the dead? Mortal fools. No one hides from the dead. That's all you got. Ow, holy shit. Fuck you. Whoop. Whoop. Oh shit, get fucked, kid. God damn. Oops. Hell yeah. Is that everyone? Get fucking shit on, dude. Let's go, baby. Anything on these guys? Don't think so. Anyone else? Where'd this other guy go? He die up here? I don't even know where the other guy went. I already buried him, Lamau. Okay, I'm actually gonna save my game. And we are going to continue on. Hero? No run? Take that. 
Another dead guy. Take that. Chest is not trapped. Take that. Big ass potion. Doggy dead. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, that's a beefy boy. Oh, Jonathan. Yeah, bitch, come at me. Get up, one of them. Please help me. The endless sleep comes. Oh, got him. <laughs> Every time, dude. Hero sword. Interesting. Diamond you had on him. Goddamn. What's a tiny... Hello. You got no sword. You got no sword. What are you going to do, dude? You got no sword. Fucking idiot. Oh, stupid asshole. I totally would have died to him if he had a sword. Oh my God. There's so many little doors. Let's go through them all. Chest. Master chess. Okay. Damn it. Oh, come on, bro. Really? You are fucking me right now. There we go. Jesus. Last battle axe of surges. Delivers a 25 point shock static shot, 10% to deal five times damage. Goddamn. Increases duration of alchemical potions by 30%. I'll take it just because it's superior. I don't need that. I don't need any of that. Wanathan, excuse me. Wanathan. Okay. What about door number three? That looks like progress. What about door number four? Oh, that's not ominous. Aha! Didn't, it actually wasn't ominous. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, progress it is. Cool, 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 cool. Saving the game. Because I am a bitch and I keep dying. For some fucking ungodly reason. Oh, hello. Hope you're bad guy. Seem to be a bad guy. I shoot on sight in this cave, Borley. Level five skeleton? You're gonna have to fucking... You're gonna have to do better than that, bro. Right? I meant to say bro and boy at the same time? Khajiit skull. That's cool just to have. <laughs> Oh, potion of power, plentiful healing. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh shit! What the fuck? Get the dog. What the dog doing? Stop it! No one hides from the dead. Oh, hello. Shut up, bitch. Time to die. You did. Well, now. Okay. Don't need to search the dogs. Exquisite war axe. Probably don't need that. Probably don't need most of this shit. Are these just rocks covered in webs? Can't do anything with?
Well, looks like they took care of the spider problem for me. Unless. Ha ha ha. Damn. Sup, bitch. Damn, okay, he's actually super strong. Fuck you. Oh! Wah! <laughs> I love to see it every time. That's a huge fucking spider, dude. Okay, so that's progress, clearly. I just want to check this room one more time, because it seems like there was shit I missed. Yeah, diamond ultimate healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing over here. Just some urns over here. Cool. That's where I killed the people. What about down here? Just a little potion. Okay. I think that's everything. Let's go back over here, Wanathan. Into the door. Let me actually save this. Oops, didn't mean to over... Uh, no. New, new save. I gotta get rid of some of these saves, dude. 300 plus saves? Jesus. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to stand up is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet you. I love it when dinner walks my food. Hey, haven't y'all seen me? I was doing the sneaky. Oh, is this the... Uh... Oh. You know what? Ow. Stop struggling. I'll give you a swift. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, bitch. I love it when dinner just walks in, you know? You know what I mean? Nah, you don't. Ain't nobody's dinner. Did I kill another one down here? I did. They always have diamonds and shit on them. Oh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And here I thought I saved him. Oh well. This looks like a boss arena. This looks actually terrifying. I'm actually super scared. I don't know what to do. Press the button. Well now. Ooh. Oh, Jesus penis. Wanathan, I don't know what I've done, but it was for science. Can I just walk out of this? Okay, cool. Wants me to use the button again? What is the objective here? Find out what the vampires are seeking. I think they're seeking this button, dude. I can't use it again. Oh, it's a puzzle? Push it that way? Oh. Do I have to push them all in? Oh. Nope, not that way. So this way? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, one last one. Nope. Unless it goes, oops. Unless it's out here. That seems to be all of it. Oh, baby. What's happening here? Activate stone monolith. Oh. Hello? Is that an elder scroll on your back? Where 
Marcus, who sent you here? Uh, a name meant Isrin. I don't know who that is. Me is neither, really. Like me? What do you mean, like you? Are you a a a v -v 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 vampire? Vampire, yes. Oh, the Dawn Guard would want me to kill you. Why were you locked away? That's complicated. Is I'm it? I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Uh, where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Serana? Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Hmm. It would look good in a museum. All I'm saying. You know? Why do you have an elder? It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay. Any idea how to get out of Your here? I guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Why were you locked I'd away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's all right. I'm sorry. It's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home. And I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. How long Good were you question. in there? Hard to say. Hundreds? I, I can't Thousands? Really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? <laughs> That's actually a matter of debate. Uh Ulfric Stormcloak is the true High I'm King. Never heard of him. Is he well supported? The Empire supports Elisif. There are many lo Skyrim loyal to Empire. Her. What? What empire? The Empire from Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire. I must have been gone longer than I thought. Oh my Definitely God! Longer than we planned. Like Please, longer than Morrowind. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Tell me about it's your home. Near solitude. Oh, Hopefully good. Perfect. A boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Why wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Okay. Uh, oh, she's... How are you feeling? Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Okay. All right, then. You're just a companion now? Yo. Yo! Dance, girl, dance! Let's go. Let's actually go this way. Maybe, hopefully... God damn it. The fuck are these things? They ain't so tough. You ain't so fucking tough. Homie. You got a good shit on you. God damn. There's a little treasure chest. Take that. What is that? The hell? Scaled him in of imminent water breathing? 35 more seconds before drowning. Okay. That's fucking stupid. Oh, hello. Oh. You're a summoner. Interesting. Good play. Maybe up here? This feels like the right way. I'm starting to work. Okay, bitch. Calm down, all right? I ain't lost. I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. Okay. I thought that was the door to the outside, but okay. Is there more people to fight? Any more bitches want to be squashed? Hmm. I need to find a... Oh, uh, this looks like a boss fight arena thing. 
Hello? No? None of these open? Okay. Ah, oh, maybe they open after I activate the leather. Yep. Oh, level five drawer. Fuck you, bitch. Bully this man. Bully this man. Get fucked. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Superior. Interesting. Okay, well, that was easy. I'll take the arrows. Thank you, thank you. And out we go. Wow. Hey, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck you is, boy? Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Ow. Okay. That shit hurt him, boy. Can you please fucking heal? Why are you not healing? Okay. Four. Ow, who the fuck is hitting me? Fuck you, bitch. My fucking bow's not charged. Bow... T, not R. Do that. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm actually hurting pretty hard here. Ow. Why am I stuck on geometry? God damn it. Oh, uh, my mouse is fucking up. All right, fucker. I can take the small hit from the fire. As long as I can keep stun locking this man. Let's go, baby. All right. We got it. Get it, got it good. Ebony sword of what? Of the Inferno. Hmm. I'll go take this guy's arrows. I'll pick up whatever this is. Death bell. Cool. Oh, I'm hearing words. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. Take that. Superior glass boots. Ooh. Painting. Ring of the Traitor. Sneak attacks deal 20% more damage. That's cool. I'll just take it all. Fuck it. Iron door. Does this go into the word? I don't think so. Where's the word? Ah, oh, there it is. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm like looking around. Which one is this? Ah! Gone. Drain vitality. Cool. All right, we can put our weapons away. This is another chain to pull. Yes, sirree. Chicken. Cool. In the Skyrim we go. Well, hot damn. That was a cool quest. So good to breathe again. Well, you know what I mean. This weather is incredible. Is it? It's kind of shitty for visibility. You should see some of the other weather when it's clear and you can see for miles. What the fuck? Oh. Well, this sucks. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm running. Wait, who the fuck is this? Is it an ice wreath now? Do 
I have to fight this dragon? Where the fuck is it? It's over there somewhere. Can she die? She cannot die. Thank Christ. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dead. Well. I think I'm going to try to fast travel before it spawns. Let's go. Map. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Remove it. Let us go. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yes! The dragon didn't spawn. We can fast travel. Let's go, dude. Okay. But for now, I think that's all we're... I'm going to call it there because... Next time we can take her to her home and we can start off with that. Wow, this weather's so beautiful. Oh, goo goo goo. Stupid. Um, yeah, next time we're going to head over there. We're going to take her home. Uh, thank you again to everyone who supported my last video because, oh my God, it was overwhelming. And I just want to say thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Tarty Penis. Someone asked for the penis to be back, so I'm adding more penis. And Juanathan, and now Vampire GF? Question <laughs> mark. We're gonna be getting her home today. Oh, look out! He's after you. Oh, she put up her hood. Will he recognize her? Dude, he's getting it. Damn, gave up. My brother in Christ. If you want... If you want a vampire GF, you just have to ask. Where the fuck are we going? Right over here. Let's get moving. Are you gonna attack me? Are we cool? I'm gonna leave you be. Okay, have a good day. I got myself a new mouse and it feels all nice and slidey. Okay, that was weird. Is that your home island? Fucking Jesus Christ. Did my game crash? Okay, thank you. Oh, it just took a while to pick up the Nern route. Okay. Is that big ominous block floating there? You're okay, never mind. I forgot I can swim super fast, so this will be easy. Never mind, it'll be so rough loading everything in. I should have waited longer. It looked very pointy. I'm guessing that's... Oh, that's not even it. I'm retarded. I should have been following... Oh, do we have to go to, like, a boat to get to the island? Jesus, can't get through those trees. Is that what I think it is? Oh... Oh, grass. Hiding the mighty mud crab. No scope. No scope. No scope. This sucks. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. It hurt me a lot, though. I mean, not physically, just fucking threw me around on the ground. Oh, this is it. Okay, yeah, you gotta go to a boat. Activate mailbox, eh? Oh, so is this... Travel to the castle. Cool, cool, cool. Since there's a mailbox there, I'm assuming that this is potentially a player house? Potentially? Okay. Yeah, I could have swam this, honestly. We're right here. That was... Wholly you know unnecessary. That? Oh, what the fuck? You're no fan of what? Whatever. Let's put up our stuff. I'm actually gonna go back to the first person here. Boy, it's dark. Let me uh change that. It's 8 p.m. No. Okay, it's noon. I couldn't stop it. I hit spacebar instead of tab. Look at these gargoyles are cool. 
Vampire Manor. Oh, hello. You want to yeah, talk so to him? Before we go in there. Yes, what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. What? I know your no. Friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back. Open the gate. Well, I mean, Argonians have fangs, right? So I could pretend for the most part. You're just generic After watchmen. All these years, Lady Serana's back. Lady Serana. Now that's something. Let's go in. Holy hell, that took forever. It won't for you, dear viewer, but Jesus. Trespass here. Wait, How dare I? Serana? <gasps> Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. I found her in a box. Okay. <laughs> my lord, everyone. Oh, okay. Serana he was just gathering us. I guess I'm expected. I guess so. That fucking Elder Scroll dude. My long I don't... lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. <laughs> of course, he I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, uh, if only your traitor. That thing don't like me much. Oh shit, I would they're just straight up. This reunion. Putting her head on the She's spot. got a big meal. Now, tell so does she. Me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? I'm Tardy so Penis. This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Tardy Penis. And who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now. My daughter would have told you what we are. <laughs> You're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. Mm. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward? Oh, what happens now? You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll. And my oh, gift. please don't I say. I offer you my blood. Take oh. it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. Oh, and I ref if I refuse? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Oh, he's gonna transform? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Shit, that's pretty good! Do we can become vampires? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, uh, where are you going? Don't, don't leave me. Um, I'm sure there's a quest to undo it. Oh, but I, I can't play in the dark. I refuse. So be it. Sorry, bud. You are pretty. You're super cool. Like all mortals. I banish you. Okay, you could have just asked me to leave. Okay, I think he asked me to leave. <laughs> okay, cool. Now it does say that there's still... My eyes are fucked up, bro. I need glasses. Oh, okay, he sent me out here. Oh, damn, dude. Should I become a vampire? Or is that already fucked up now? Because I don't want to fucking... Not being able to walk in the sun. Hmm. 
Color me intrigued. What is the... Speak with this, Ren. Now I need to return and tell him what I've learned. God damn. Okay. Uh, I super... I don't regret my decision. I do not want to be a vampire. Their powers are cool and all. I just don't think that's... What... Tardy Penis would want. Um, what the fuck am I doing? Going to... Back to the place, right? Wait, where the fuck is it? Where's Riften? Am I stupid? It's further south. I am stupid. Oh, it's even more further than that. <laughs> Fort Dawn Guard. Fast travel. We're, we're vampire hunters, you know? We want to take their relics. That'd be cool to have a museum full of vampire relics. Yeah, I am super wishy-washy about this decision, but it's done. And with this LP going on, I don't want to be walking around in the dark all the time just for the sake of recording, so... Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Uh... I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She wanted to go home, so I took her to the castle. She's the daughter of a very powerful vampire and lord. So you delivered her to them. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Uh, there were too many of them, and only one of me and one of Wanathan. So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. So you're just going to give up? We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. Have you been attacked here? There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Okay, where do I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Shall help us? Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last huh. I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Holy shit, it turned into a heist. Now I gotta go recruit the crew. Do we need a demolitions expert? Uh, du -du -du -du. Any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people cool. will die cool, cool, because cool, cool, of you. Cool, cool, cool. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. I actually have this thing called save scumming that helps me quite a bit, actually. Uh, okay. Watch your back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So where exactly is this? Let me see here. I hit M. Oh, okay. She's all the way over there. Out in the middle of nowhere, really. Crap. Okay. Uh, would this be... Or this? I think this would be the fastest beeline there. Oh my god, these loading screens are killing me, dude. They're taking fucking forever. And now I have to wait for it to be daytime, too. God damn. Takes me so long to get anywhere in this fucking game, dude. Alright, cool. Hello? Are you a good guy? Gerald? Jonathan, calm down. Greetings, traveler. My name is Gerard. Oh, Gerard. <laughs> what brings you here to this remote outpost? Gerard? Just looking for somewhere to stash the bodies? I came for the spectacular view of a wanderer I wandered. This is where I happened to wander off to. Uh, yeah, I'm just wandering. You. I used to wander myself back in my youth. Only not with my feet so much as my eyes. Then I met my first wife. Oh, and okay. For a time, I only had eyes for her. A very short time, as it so happens. Oof. Three wives later, and I'm still wandering. Okay. Your wife sound like a problem. I can make them disappear. A divorce means cutting the ball and chain. You seem to carry them with you. Well, that's what happens when you put three separate buns in the oven. When it comes time to make a clean break. You can't. There's mouths to feed, and you have to feed them. If I were a sensible man, I'd kill all six of the hungry bastards. But I'm not one for violence. You seem to have difficulties with your marriage. You deplore violence, an odd stance take from for a hunter. How's the tr fur trade? Interesting new nerve. You deplore violence, an odd stance to take for a hunter. Well, I can't be the first mortal in the history of Skyrim to hate his job. Can't imagine milkmaids and lumberjacks go home every night thanking Julianos for depriving them of brain. Luckily, Double someone edged. invented traps and things to take out most of the dirty work and liquor to forget the rest. Still don't like it, though. If you think about it, the butcher's stall is really an animal graveyard. But all the bodies have been cleaned up. It's a hunter's job to skin. A butcher's job to chop. Make everything nice and tidy so it's easy to swallow. Why do you think that is? That's how the divines made us. It doesn't matter if it's an animal or a person. If you see something being chopped up with all the guts and blood, it's going to make you cringe. I agree. Uh, I detest uh, such contrivances. Hiding the truth only makes us soft. Which is divide meaning their parts. Uh, it's practical not to hide the origin. If the vibes wanted me to be peaceful, they wouldn't have given me fists. Uh, I'm going to say divide meat. Huh. Maybe you've got a point. I guess what I'm talking about is more of an unintentional side effect. Seem to have difficulties with your marriage. You're half right. I was always great at getting married, but staying married was another issue altogether. <laughs> Fair enough. Either. I'm a docile man. Never raised docile my voice. man with a fucking Never raging heart on. Just unlucky in love, I guess. I don't know if you have a spouse. But if you ever want to know nope. what married life Not is yet. like, it's pretty easy to replicate. Fill a bucket with spiders, place it on your head, and then bang it all night with a spoon. Now, if you want the gory details, I can give you those too. Okay. Maybe passing on some frightening tales will scare you off making your own prison vows. Tell me about your first wife. Tell what happened to your second wife. Surely you learned something by your third wife. Well, if nothing else, I tried something different. The first wife wasn't much of a talker, and the second wife was a bad cook. So the third was a chef with a knack for speech. 
and could talk the wheels off of a carriage if you let her get started. Only most of the time she didn't talk. She nagged. I'd come home from a long day and she'd have a list of chores for me to do. Which was fine, except she wanted them all done at once. What do you mean? She wanted me to wipe the counter as I set the table, sweep the floor while I burned the trash. I told her I only had but two hands. No chance in winning that argument. Could talk the fur off a Khajiit, that woman. <laughs> so instead of coming home to a list of chores and an ornery wife, I stopped coming home. <laughs> well, shit. Tell me about your first wife. I had been exploring a dwarven ruin, working my way through a long passageway that led to a balcony overlooking a deep pit. She came bursting through from the opposite balcony, a red guard mage in blue robes. For an instant, our eyes met, our wordless stare saying what we both already knew. The treasure lied somewhere at the bottom, about the same distance from both of us. It was an old-fashioned foot race. What happened next? I must have stared a little too long, because before I knew it, she'd made it halfway down the walkway. But while she was fast, I was faster. And a better fighter. I sped down to the ground floor, storming through armies of dwarven spiders. Uh -huh. At last, <laughs> I reached the great hall, Been there, pal. where the treasure awaited sitting on a platform of smooth stone. Only when I reached out to open it, I found my hand frozen in place. What manner of sorcery was it? I take it you're not too familiar with magic then. Or what? at least that particular spell. I was paralyzed. Turns out the mage was skilled in alteration. She mm. let me get ahead of her so I could clear the ruins. And when I was but a hair's breadth away from my prize, she made her move. I stood there helpless as she walked right past me and opened the chest. After taking a peek inside, to my surprise, she closed it. It turns out she was less interested in the contents of the chest as she was in what lay under my curious. You bet at her. We spent the next six nights together and got married on the seventh. Well, Funny there's your first is, problem. The first thing she ever said to me was, I do. If only it were the last thing she ever said, too. <sighs> you know, I never did find out what was in that treasure chest. What happened to your second wife? My second wife was a good woman, but a terrible cook. Put condiments on everything. Pickled sauces from Cyrodiil. <laughs> Mustard it's and mayonnaise from High Rock. Always with the Breton mayonnaise. On salads, meats, even cakes. White people, am I right? If you've ever had it, it's the <laughs> disgusting slime made from egg yolk, lemon juice, and oil of the olive. She even thought it made an adequate substitute for sunshine sauce. I've never tasted a worse souffle in all my years. Souffle, the you does say? go well with is bread. And, of course, she never bothered to use it as a spread. So what did you do? I swallowed that garbage for three years, but never complained. I hate confrontations almost as much as I hate violence. What I did is stop showing up for meals. She thought I was cheating on her. I was, but not with another woman. It was with another cook. <gasps> you whore! These stories don't explain how the marriage ended. All right. I guess I wasn't being entirely truthful when I said I was never unfaithful. I mean, yes, I never betted a woman who wasn't my wife. It's just that I was married to all three at the same time. And when they found out, well, let's just oh. say having three pregnant ladies, one of you dead, tends to build up a bit of animosity on both sides. Jesus Christ, my guy. Well, only three of the four people who were in this story <laughs> had a right to be angry. What's done is done. Best to talk it out like adults. You're despicable. Bravo, sir. You are a credit to your race. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, what's done is done, my guy. You and I think alike. That's pretty much what I suggested to my wives. 
Not that it did any good. Yeah, no, the I didn't think it would, man. <laughs> did is with the local mercs. Hired an army of them to hunt me down and take little Gerard home in a sack. Worst part is they hired <laughs> them with my gold. Gold I gave them to help care for the children. Still don't know how I've survived this long. A funny thing yeah, especially is, when you just go around spilling am, your fucking life story and telling gold. everyone that you're a wanted man. And sure enough, every septum goes towards more cell swords. How have you managed to evade My those mercenaries? It's a lot easier to evade a dead man than a live one. And I've killed every cell sword those harpies have sent after me. Okay, for someone Truth who doesn't is, like violence. I outpost to run from my pursuers. I do it to trap them. The cliffs provide an excellent vantage point. The terrain is mostly uphill, and there's plenty of cover to hide and ambush a group of mercs. <laughs> and here I was about to question your manhood. Glad we avoided that. Uh, so you get the coin back from the cell sword to Circle of Life. You must be a formidable warrior as well as a hunter. Yeah, if you're killing everyone. I'm no warrior, but I'm not just a hunter either. But I don't tell that to the mercenaries who are after my head. You see, there are advantages to keeping secrets from your wife. Or wives, plural, in my case. Looks can be every bit as deceiving as words. And clothes do not always make the man. Huh. Well, thank you for this. This was... Increasingly interesting. Alright then. Uh, I think that... I think I'm gonna take those. But yeah, man. Good shit. Good on ya. Got some archery for it, too? Nice, bro. Who the hell is this guy? Hunter. Okay. Well. Sorry to, uh, completely sidetrack myself like that. Is this where I'm going? That is not where I'm going. I'm going to the other one. That one? No, it couldn't be. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. Well, it's time to get moving. Whoa. Okay. Let you know if anything happens. <laughs> oh, hello, bear. Well, nothing interesting happened. Into the void we go. Jesus Christ. It's a good thing I don't take fall damage anymore. Oh, Nern Root and a mud crab. That's a big fallen tree. That's cool as shit. Oh, fuck no. God damn it. Well, later, fucker. Oh, shit. My stuff's right here. Oh, no. Come back. Oh, no. She's bugged. I'm going to discover this real quick. Time to run away. Or actually, I might be able to distract it. Oh, you're actually not that bad. Oh, that's so much more damage. And he's dead. Look at that. Give me everything. Actually, I probably didn't need to take those... Uh... Laws. You can have those back. Okay, hello? Beatrice, I don't want to talk to you. Well, that was interesting. Oh, am I absorbing the dragon's soul? I totally forgot to fucking do that, huh? Is it done? Okay, there we go. Okay, dragon killed. Once again. Hey, lady, you want to come hunt some vampires with me? Okay. 
That's why I left it right you here. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven oh, okay. gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? It's friend X asked me f to it's find right. you. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. No. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. You had a falling out? Vampire starting all of Skyrim. We need your help. You had a falling out? Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampire starting all of Skyrim. I need your help. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? I don't think so. There's no time you need to get moving now. I'm sorry, but I'm not about Damn to do it. that without at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Fuck, okay. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. I don't have any gyros on me. And I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. Okay. I... will look around. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. That's a golden bear? What the fuck is going on here? That's a saber-toothed cat. Oops. Down here, bear. You weird glowy bitch. Stupid. Where are these mud crabs at? Beatrice, are you okay? Who are you? Tardings honored guest. My name is Beatrice. The raffish companion you see beside me goes by the name of Urzel. The time Who? of your visit is rather impeccable. Urzel has just secured a fresh skeever which we hope to prepare at the top of the we welcome you to join us in the consumption of this delectable feast. Uh, I don't see this skeever you're talking about. You jest, honored visitor. Its visage is clearly within your range of eyesight. Although, indubitably, you were directed to this camp not by its countenance, but by its aroma, which is quite exquisite. However, it will do us no good without the proper refreshments to balance it. Something odd about your diction. Uh, you know, I don't have time for this. I gotta find some gyros in a sack. That's a rabbit. Oh. Oh, fuck. There we are. <laughs> oh, is this the guy you were talking about? Or is that? Yep. What would mud crab? I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Here, I got your gyros. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Cool. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Or me to get Fart Dongard. Uh, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. Not a lot, to be honest. <laughs> I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Until next time. Until next time. Let me see where this other dude is at. Oops, meant to hit J. 
Double edged. This rubs already plan to remove the letter. Go to Lost Echo Cave. That's for that guy. I want to know where this guy is. Oh, he's not actually that far from Helgen. Okay. Pretty sure we can go here and just beeline it. Okay. This away. He's over by a ruin, it looks like. Uh, I'm actually going to wait until daytime again. Because I'm not a vampire. As I've stated. <laughs> it just makes the weather worse. God, these blizzards are fucking annoying. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. All right, look. Oh, he didn't I'll say by the nine. It, but I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay, you know what? I will help you tackle this fucking bear. That'll be easy. Hopefully. Holy shit. Is that a saber tooth bear? Nope, that's not the bear I'm looking for. Hello? You're walking backwards on me? Idiot. Okay, well that was easy. I killed the bear. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me. Well, if you can't so handle that, I don't know if you can handle some fucking wants. vampires, dude. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, he said to meet at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Seven, seven, thank in. you. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. All right, cool. That's it, we're done. We've assembled the crew. Okay, now we head back to the fort. To let them know everybody's on board, baby. Oh, he's inside now. Okay. We're probably going to meet everyone else there. I can put this away. In we go. Hello? We're back. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? What the hell? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. Really? In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? A new order. Started profit. Follow him? Where the fuck is he going? How the fuck do I get up there? Or is he coming down to me? It looks like he's coming down to me. We're probably gonna have to go to the basement. Just waiting on a woman. Come on now. Move that ass. Jonathan, you are very blue today. Thank you. Mm. 
Maybe I can find my way to the dungeon beforehand? No? Yeah, get running, please. Idiot. Maybe if I get far enough away from him, he starts running? It seems like it. Ah, there's the cages down here. Okay. Um, got some news for you, bud. You good? Eh. Eh. Come on, man. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Come on, man. Here we are. It begins, and I fear for what is to come. Good luck. Come on, dog. Is he down here? Oh, it's her. Oh, come on, bro. Why are you stuck? You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Yeah, considering you have the Elder Scroll with you. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, sorry, Wanathan. Can you just keep an eye on her, please? Let's uh, try a little movie magic here. There we go. Got him walking again. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I had to use that trick twice. If I had a nickel. I'd have two nickels. Oh, Wanathan just opened the door casually. Okay. Dude, come on. You're so close. I think Wanathan is fucking with his pathfinding. Come on, you can do it. Almost there. All right. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. It sure so is. He's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. Here's my Elder Scroll. That's what she should be saying. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. What about the scroll? What about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... A turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Hmm. What sort of prophecy? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part true. he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the true, sun. True, 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 true. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Huh. Vampires control the world. Anyway, <laughs> Maybe I should have fucking joined the Mogod. With all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. What's all this have to do with the Dawn Guard? You took a big risk coming here, girl. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. No, you're right. We just have to convince the others that we're on their side. Yeah. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we're going to need her help. Set your hatred aside and try to see the larger picture. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You <laughs> don't trust her fine. Trust me, I believe you her. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. I've but known you so for years, buddy. Anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, 
Don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. What? Says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. It's blank? <laughs> who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can it's do just it. like Kung Fu they spend Panda. Years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Okay, so we gotta yeah, locate the priest. the priest. Skyrim's a pretty big place. Ask innkeepers in cities around the... Ask carriage drivers. Huh. Where would he actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, True. now that I think of it... Now that I think about it, I think I've really been there. Get out and a bit. What do you know about the Elder Scroll? Were you always a vampire? It's hard to imagine that you're, we are going through all this trouble just to find the priest. We're here and need something to do. Okay, so I can... I'm ready when you are. Yeah, she's coming with me. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. This has been quite the episode, assembling a crew, and now... We've got the final piece of Goth GF. Cozy little place, isn't this? Yeah, um, so next time I think we're gonna go f try to find that priest. I mean, they said in the College of Winterhold. Uh, huh? Yep. Ask about the priest at the college, and then I can ask around at these little stables. Okay, yeah, that'll be our plan for next time. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I haven't even done my intro yet. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. Uh, Dragon Dead. Lamal. What is this? Superior? I'll take it. Um, so today... We are here in order to find out the Moth Priest. We're going to follow up on the Moth Priest. We're going to follow our leads. Uh, win winter of... Fuck. The College of Winterhold was the first stop. And then we're going to go and ask a bunch of people around here. So Should be pretty straightforward and simple, except for the fact that it's not. Um... Ah, uh, so he's upstairs, I'm assuming. Okay, we just need to talk to the bookman. Greetings, Archmage. I need to find a moth priest. A moth priest? What in oblivion do you need a moth priest for? My business is my own, just tell me what I need to know. Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. Why the are you sitting down? To go to the Imperial City. The moth priest make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Dragon Bridge. Wow, okay. Didn't need to freaking talk to nobody about nothing. Just the one guy. He knew everything there was to know. Wow. Well, that was actually straightforward for once. So off we go to Dragon's Bridge, which is on the other side of the fucking map, I believe. Jesus. Yep. I don't know how the hell he got all the way over there. Wait, come on. Give me the... 
Give me the fast travel point. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to deselect this so I can fast travel there and then reselect it again. Oh, <sighs> fun times, fun time. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's happening? Why is everybody running? I don't know, but I need to put that back on so I know where I'm going. Which would be where exactly? <laughs> um, huh. Maybe he's like in a house or something. Hold on, let me... Jesus Christ, just chugging. Okay, so the thing's no longer there. But I did track it, right? Ask the people of Dragon Bridge. Oh, okay. So I just got to talk to some people. Holy hell. If I can get my frames. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Thank you. Here. This is for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, cool. Working can you talk to me? Working hard a man reason for drinking hard. Well, that and putting up with a wife like mine. Um... Okay, so know anything about a moth priest visiting Dragon nah, Bridge? I don't think so. Well, then you are uh -huh. useless to me, sir. Courier. Guard. I don't think the guards are going to have any unique dialogue. You look kind of scary. Hey, child. You're not planning any trouble. Okay, that's fucking rude. You don't say I don't that know to what people. A moth priest is, but I did see an old man in a robe not long ago. He's riding in a wagon with some imperial guards. They didn't stop to visit, though. They rode through town, heading south, and went across the big bridge. It was only just a little bit ago. I bet you can catch them if you hurry up. Well, shit. The child actually had the answer. Okay. So I guess we just head south on the road until we find them. Wee. <laughs> it's always fun. These... What are these? Are these pickable? No? Okay. Oh. Well. I think I found it. Son of a bitch. I already have all that. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Cool. Oh, a vampire. Read the note. It killed my horse, dude. Uh, let's actually level up first. Stamina, aminaz. And then read the note. It was a note from so-and-so. This guy. Uh, prepare an ambush just south of the bridge. Take the moth priest to... Forebear's holdout? I think that says. I can't fucking read cursive. See, keep it till I break his neck. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Okay, where the fuck is this now? Okay, it's not that far, actually. It's just across this other bridge. Shouldn't be too far of a jaunt. Oh my god, another fucking dead person? Caravan horse thing? They're not that important, though. <laughs> Okay, here we are. What is that big red glowing thing? Oh, is that where we... I think we did that earlier. A uh, runestone. Activate runestone. Okay, I don't know exactly what that's doing. But the cave's right here. Okay. Here oh, shit. Okay. In. Yeah, let's rescue this well, motherfucker. Alrighty. Okay, so he is quite protected. I see some people, though. Get some stealth archery action up in this. Gotcha.
He'll slowly die for a while. Um, anyone else? Oh, there's that dog. Oh, I thought I hit him. Damn, that would have been good. Oh, who's this dude? Does someone live among no, the dead? Hey. What's up, fuckers? I'm here, boy. Well. Oh, shit. This guy's trying to snipe me through this little slat. Bitch, I can do that too. Fuck you. Was that it? Was that really all the vampire? Oh, shit. No. Oh, these are thralls. Okay, cool. Got some little bit of stuff. But let's go rescue this priest. It looks like he's got some sort of like force field activated which i don't know if that's his doing or the vampire's doing but either way it's probably gonna suck oh shit there's quite a few people up here hello oh no don't like that Hey, bitch. Easy, easy clap. No, stop it. Easy clap. Fuck you, too. Oh, gotcha, bitch. Fucking shit on. Was that everyone? I'll heal myself for what little I have. Waystone focus. Amulet of the Gargoyle. Steel Rapier, do I have that? I'm pretty sure I would have that, yeah. Daedric Staff of Turning, turn on dead. Hmm. Nope, that's good. Imperial Soldier. I uh, need to... Myths of Sheogorath. I think the Vampire Dust, just because I don't... I don't know if I'll need it eventually, you know. Oh, Vampire Fledgling. It's all good. Glass shield of dwindling frost. Frost resistance by 40%. Okay, and how do I... How do I stop this thing? Oh, okay, up here. I was wondering. There we go, deactivate the magic barrier. Uh, why are you fighting? Ow, why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? I need you alive. No, 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 Wanathan, Wanathan, Wanathan. Stop, 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 stop. Uh... Wanathan, go back in your Pokeball for a bit. Don't hurt him. I want to talk. No, dude, don't kill him. Well, stop. I yield. Oh, okay. That, that wasn't me. You were fighting. I could see through my eyes. God damn it. Let me put water. Th water that you had it right. I, I can't could believe not that. Control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Yeah, no problem, bro. I, I mean, it was a problem, but still. Um, are you all right? I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. I know why they needed you, because we need you for the same purpose. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. We're called the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. I'll explain later. Uh, yeah. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. 
If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawn Guard near Stendar's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Okay, cool. And now all we need to do oh. is leave. Yeah. Oh, are you doing like drain touch or something? Don't hit her, Wanathan. Hey, break it up, you two. I ain't gonna put up with this. I will turn this adventure around. Neither of you can die, so it's like... Why bother? Anyway, back out to the real world. And then from here, we fast travel back to the fort. Okay. We're back and we got the priest. Another loading screen. <laughs> here we go. And what the hell do we... Ah, he's already here. Cool. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. <laughs> Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Okay. Let's start what this shit. I, do I don't know what's gonna go down, but it feels like... Feels like something's gonna go down. Glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Have my companions made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to. But your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. <laughs> of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades. I was wondering where she was. Shimmer and distort. But wait, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there is yeah, more mm -hmm. here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. Oh, I think mm -hmm, there is mm -hmm. more to the prophecy recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons. And the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. That wasn't that bad. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Okay. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew, and no one believed. Oh, I have to speak to her. Do you have a moment to talk? I do. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Why didn't you say something earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. <laughs> uh, what is it between you two? Yeah, what is it between you two? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. 
It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she was trying to be cautious. We can't waste time on cryptic clues. Maybe your mother didn't trust you either. Sounds like she was just being Maybe. cautious. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Hiding with the Dongar? They'd be even less welcoming to her than yeah, they'd been to me. Yeah, I figured. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard are still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? Uh, see how lay like you were? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? What about the castle itself? Hey, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, staying around in the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They aren't going to let us back in the front door. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Let's go to the castle's secret entrance. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Alrighty. Back to the big castle full of vampires that hate my guts and are probably going to kill me multiple times. Oh well. Tis the season. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Seems like it's around the left here. Let me just get out my weapon in case anybody comes for us. This, I don't know if it's ash, yeah, it looks like. Around this bend. This weather is horrible. Hasn't looked so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but, well, even bigger. Ah, here we go. It's almost like a port, or a pier. Oh, it super is. Oh, and there's super bad guys looking to kill me. See if I can sneak up on their ass. Skeleton! Wah! Oh, I can't believe he didn't see me walk right past. Stupid asshole. Ow. Okay, rude. Oh. What? There's no dropping attack? <laughs> This ain't Dark Souls. Damn, this level 40 skeletons fucking tanking hits, bro. Where's she at? Skeleton Mage? Oops. Sorry, I kind of just one shot your little dude there. It's all good. Anything you got? Spell Tome Wither? I already have it, so. You know you're here somewhere. Was oh, there more people? I don't think so. Oh, there is more people. Ah. Ow. What? Wah! Good shit. All right, let's head inside. It'd be cool if we got to like run into each vampire like one-on-one -on -one as we're going and then have to take them out systematically you know Hang on. tons of settings here i did not whoa skeever skeever i hardly know her what's up fuckers 
Anyone else? All these tiny doggy dudes coming to the slaughter. You seriously not take out one? Oh, it was two. Excuse me. I know you're struggling. Now where the hell are we going? Hmm. Looks like we need to get up there to pull a lever probably. Holy shit. Holy crap, I can't believe I hit her with that. Yep. I'm not that easy to get rid of. Feral vampire. Journal fragment. Oh neat. Some books that I don't need. A four. Oh, I thought for sure this would hold the uh I can't sleep with enemies nearby. Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. Cool, 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 cool. Are there enemies nearby? I didn't see anyone. There's a chest that's booby trapped. Damn it. Booby trap no longer. Cool. Anything over here? Just a bucket. Okay. In deeper we go. Take a left up here. This is one of those shall feed. Oh. Oh. I don't know if those would have hurt me. That's a lot of skeletons. That's their trash pit, pretty much. Oh, look at that. We can climb up here. Eek! Big coin purse. Nice. Septum. Ring. Healing. Ooh, cabbage. I'll take the cabbage. Uh, hello? Why can't I get close to this chest? Oh, why you do this? Oh, okay. Fine. I'll climb up here instead. Actually, where do I need to go? Is it that way? I don't think so. This way? Ah, uh, hello. Giant frostbite spider. Is that another? Uh huh. Anything over here I need to know? Is my light off or something? God damn it. I know it looked way too fucking dark in here. Well, that was easy. How the fuck did you get over here? Stairs! Stairs! <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, and here we go. Let's actually check this other path first. Another skeever. Ah, and this is how we get down there. Cool. Okay, time to go this way. The way it opened up. Okay, cool. Yes, we did it. One room down. <laughs> Okay, here's the courtyard. It's got a big ass sundial. Cool. Some death bell. Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks well dead. Looks like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. 
Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. Once? This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Maybe we have to find all these things? Missing crest. Yeah. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. They didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Oh, maybe I just have to find all these little things scattered around the map here. I need one, two, three of more. Okay. Here I go searching again. Ah, there's another one. Let me go place the one I got. It should be over here, maybe? Here? No. Here? Aha! I only needed the three, I guess. Oh, interesting. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Yep, I'm already ahead of you. Okay. Coin purse. Coin purse. Chain pull. Hello? We're not here to hurt you. Bloody silver goblet. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Ah, uh, too much. Wait. Give me one second. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, yeah, definitely be careful. There's tons of blood. And skeletons. Okay. Hello, everyone. You're dead. No. These ones are just falling apart. This guy's taking some fucking hits, though. Come on, let me at him. Ow, they sun me somehow. The fuck am I dying? Ah, uh, damn. I doubt any of these skeletons have anything good on them. Let's just move on, shall we? Oh shit! That's cool. Hello. Some gold ore on you? Nice. Ruined book? Fuck yeah. Hello? More skelly men? Damn, this one with no armor is taking so many more hits. Oh, let's try this out. Damn it. rip -a -rooney. Whole lot of nothing, it looks like. Four gold, two lockpicks. Let's move this cast iron pan. Fuck it. Come on, really? What the hell? <laughs> Fuck it. I, I really don't need it. I'm fucking getting so sidetracked. Let's keep going. Jesus. That does not sound good. Fuck you. Hang on. He's there. And I'm overweight again. 
Uh, actually, I'm not, but let me put shit away for now. Uh, where is stash We're supplies? Oh, he interrupted my fucking spell. Hold on. Stash materials. Fuck you, bitch. Hopefully not. This lock-on system is so good, and I feel like it was a wholly necessary replacement for VATS from Fallout. You bitch. Um, I feel like that's such a good trade-off. Was I already over here? Don't need any of that. Any of these books I need? I do need that, actually. I have that. Need that ruined book. Ruined book. Okay, let's keep going. These are all beds. Who's there? Oh, shit. Tough day for you. You're dead. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Okay. Back in the big hall. Oh no, this is a different big hall. I knew I heard something. Oh, okay. Did he really just jump down there to fuck with them? Get fucked? Is shit on kid? He moving? That's what I thought, bitch. Um. Huh. Do I have to jump down there? Where's little Miss Lady? Hello? Are you okay? You just chilling? Oh, I guess I do, because that's blocked off going that way. Still hearing some shit over here. Oh, well, let's see. Is this? No, this is where I was. I'm stupid. What was in here? Another locked room. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Pin. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Don't laugh at that. That was stupid. I'm pissed. Okay. Let me figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Oh. No? I could climb that. Are you okay? Do I need to disable you and re-enable you? Well, I don't think I can. Oh, the big chain right behind him probably opens that. Durr! Oh, and that activated the fucking guy. I didn't even realize. Cool. I got a little one for you. Have fun with that. What have you got? All right, making progress finally. Hello, sir. How are you? Catch on fire, please. Seventy-six. Not bad. Okay. Have fun down there. Expert door unlocked. Shit. <sighs> I 
Okay, finally. What's in the expert door? Just blood potions. And weapons. Ooh, okay, here we go. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Imperial Bow of Mud. <laughs> if the target is staggered, 18% chance to summon a spike of rock that flips the target into the air. Interesting. Don't need that, don't need that. I don't really need any of this crap. Elven Battle Axe of Azura. Deals 22 magic damage while near the, shri the <laughs> Shrine of Azura. Really? That's kind of fucking stupid. Is there no, no way to get out? Oh, I, I am so fucking terrible at looking at for these chains. Show yourself. Yeah. Oops, sorry, Serena. Serana. It's one down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, did I just stab the shit out of her? Oh. Whoops. Die. Holy shit. What the hell is that thing? Okay. Holy hell, I almost died. Come on, man. Fucking yeah. stop. I'm not gonna die like this. I don't think you can die at all, actually. What the fuck was this? Feral Bloodhound. Ooh. Oh, he's got a danger heart. Fuck yeah. Okay. More BS. Is this where I'm supposed to go? No. No, that was the expert door. I just went around. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was actually a shortcut. Good to know. So I actually do need to go up here and across this bridge. And down here, maybe? Up here. Okay, making steady progress for what it's worth. Holy shit. That sent me flying. Fuck was that? You using ruined books as a pillow, you dumb me. You numb skull. <laughs> Holy crap, this castle is huge, dude. This castle is huge and we still haven't found your mom. Looks like this one wasn't finished carving, Lamau. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. Whoop. Well. Color me scared. Found you familiar. Oh, these are empty. Fuck me. Yeah? Is he supposed to pop too? Or is he? I don't know what you're hearing. What is that? Vampire royal armor. Ooh. I still remember how to fight. I don't. Is there another chain on the wall I'm missing? Take firewood. You can't hide from us. Turn candlestick. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. What was that? Karen Wolf. Jesus. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. 
Oh. Why is it back there? Oh, is this just a door? Okay. Hey! Is this where Mama's at? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? Big circle. Probably I'm don't sure stand in it. Circle, but it's obviously something. There's Nirnru just sitting here. Hmm. Fill portal vessel. Fill it with what exactly? Hmm. Purified void salts. Is there a book I'm missing that I need to read? It'll tell me what ingredients go into the. Let's take a oh. look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, mother, keep goyles here. I don't care about your That's family. It? All right. <laughs> um, maybe in here? Oh, shit. No, that exits the fucking map. Damn it. That is not... Where I wanted to go. Let's see. Okay. There's actually nothing out here. So, <laughs> good to know. Good to know. Now, I pretty much searched the shit out of this place and I didn't find any notes. Vampire doll. Interesting. Some ruined books. Sneak. Reach level 50. Oh, read 50 skill books. Interesting. I didn't know I was still getting achievements for Skyrim. That's interesting. Oh, I found her journal. Okay, here we are. Cool. Let me just uh, pick up the rest of these ruined books. And then I will come right back to you. Okay. I found your mom's journal. Uh, I found your mother's notes. You Let me see them. What is this soul carrion that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls Karen? inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. She's they gonna say right here. Soul Karen. Karen. Okay. Uh, why did she care where used souls went? The soul went? Karen is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. Maybe she made it there. We'll find that her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. That's what all the things are for. What do we a need? A handful of soul gem shards. Got that one. Some finely ground bone meal. Got that a good one. A bit of purified void salts. Got that one. <sighs> Damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. You share her blood. Hmm. Not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. I already found all the oh, ingredients. Good. Well then, let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Okay. I'm here. All right, we removed everything. Speak to her again. I don't know if we have to wait for and her. The rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Uh, can I ask you some first? My pretty first. I'm ready. Okay, here goes. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. We jump. 
Oh, it just says two soul Karen. Karen. I'm gonna wait for the animation to fa finish. Oh, look, and it makes a little wee. Oh, I gotta talk to her again. Are you all right? That looked painful. What? It was what happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is, well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There's no way in then. There might be. But I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. Oh my god. I could probably go through there without a problem. You're saying I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill my me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to well, dude, I'm swimming in it soul gems. Just do that. The soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Don't give him the penis. The soul of the penis. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way. Something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Become a vampire or partially soul trapped? Uh, soul trap me. I won't feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. You're, uh, I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. I trust you completely. Thank you. Let's not waste Goth any more GF. Time. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Damn, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> she just... <laughs> All right. Holy shit. This is a fucking place, huh? I think I'm going to call it there for today. We'll explore the rest of this soul karen it looks quite expansive this fucking this quest is outrageously long <laughs> i love it uh but yeah we'll find your mom next time and i'll see you in the next one hello everybody welcome back to the adventures of tartipinus and Juanathan. last time we uh still looking for vampire mommy haven't played Resident Evil 8 yet, so still looking for her. And goddamn, does this place look spooky. Spooky and cool. Um, let's actually check the map. Oh, look at that. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, fair enough. Are these little wisps friendly? Uh, the smell here. Those ghosts? Let's try to handle this quickly. Okay, fair enough. Are these ghosts bad ghosts? Or are you like Wanathan? Fuck the soul. What day is it? What year? What era even? Where is Wanathan actually <laughs> now that I think about it? Uh let me go to this. I have it on. I'm gonna take it off. And put it back on in a second. Yeah, I think that might fix it. Wanathan? <gasps> Wanathan, my buddy. My good friend, buddy guy pal. Good stuff. Now oh, there's a lot of uh, places to discover. Abandoned prison tower. There's not a chain I'm missing, is there? Oh, okay. Wow, there's actually a lot of places here. I was not expecting this to be like a whole separate area. What the hell is that? Is that a fountain full of bone? Okay. What was that called? 
I'm stupid. I didn't... Totem of the Ideal Masters. Are you interactable? Black Soul Gem. Oh, here we go. Oh, ho. Oh, did she summon her own Wanathan? Come here, Skelly Boy. Oh, cool. They've got soul gems on them. That's definitely worth the kill. Uh, where is it here? Soul gem, soul husk. Don't know why that's had a little food icon, but interesting. Let's check out this over here. This looks like another tower and in Citadel Tower. Okay. Anything cool here? Or are you just a big, big thing with nothing in it? Okay, well that's cool. <laughs> I'm assuming there's nothing there that way. That direction. Oh, there's dogs, skelly dogs. Are you bad? Oh! Oh. Got him. Holy shit. The lock on just <laughs> turned me around. Poke in the butt. And they're dead. They've got good stuff on them. Well, five soldier. Jesus. These little dogs have some shit on them. Excuse you. Wanna think, can you kill him, please? Or he'll just run away and die. That's fine, too. Okay, there's the border, looks like. There's another big empty building, probably. That's got a hu Is that a huge soul gem? That'd be cool as hell. Harvest soul husk? Oh, that looks disgusting. A bunch of heads put together. Prison of Lost Souls. There's some more bullshit that I probably can't get anywhere else. I'd imagine I can't get it anywhere else. I can't even begin to think about where I would get something like that. Is there nothing up here? This is just a whole lot of nothing, ironically. A really cool area, but not a ton going on right now. Lightning rod discovered. Epic. Expert chest. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, I like that. That's neat. Why am I... Use lighter attractor? Sure. I don't know what that does. Okay. <laughs> it just summoned some skeletons. I was like, how much health does this guy have? Oh, shit. Hello, everyone. Ow. Oh, gotcha, bitch. All right. Small antlers? Why did that guy have small antlers on him? Um... So I'm overweight again. I really haven't been back to the, uh... Haven't been back to the... Oh, I need that, need that. The museum in quite a while. I am so losing my train of thought here. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh... There's probably some stupid crap in here I don't need. 
Okay, that carried, put my carry way down quite a bit. Cool, 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 cool. Now this seems to be a big wall. <laughs> what, what commentary I have today. Jesus. This seems to be a big wall. Harvest soul fissure. Cool. I'm assuming there's a break in this wall that we need to go into. Soul walls guard post. Closer. Okay. Okay. Soul gem. Yeah, this really seems to be a whole lot of nothing. Which is a little disappointing, but maybe I'm actually stupid and I am missing out on a ton of stuff. Uh, more dogs. Oh, well, there's the big hole in the wall. Now, is there anything I need to know? I guess I'll... There's a few more places to discover. I guess I'll do that and come back if anything piques my interest. You must help me oh, like this. Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Calm down, who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came uh. <laughs> to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. How can I help him? Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! <laughs> Hello? Okay. Find Arvac's skull. Now, is that... marked on my fucking map? Uh... Blood and Dragon, Double Edge. These are not it. Miscellaneous? Find Arvac's skull? I did not find Arvac's skull. <laughs> okay. Well. Back to discovering places. That's a lot of dogs. Holy hell, that's a lot of dogs. And we can't even take care of one fucking wolf. I still sense your presence. I just took out like 20 of these fuckers. Okay, that actually hurt quite a bit. What the hell is going on here? She's gonna die. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Am I supposed to shoot that thing? I don't even know. Fuck you. You dick. At least I can out heal it. Okay, so I've pretty much looked at everything there was to look at. I think that's all of the points on the map that I've looked at. So let's continue forward. This looks like a caravan over here. Hello, sir. Lost Merchant's Caravan. 
we have here? Someone with flesh on their bones. What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Sucks to suck. In the name of Zenithar, was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? So that's how you got here? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Got anything left? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. There must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul hearts. Why are you sweeping? Uh, you know, those ugly, fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Okay. <laughs> Bring me, say, <laughs> 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Fair enough. Odds what do you have? I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather. Before She's just cleaning up the soul realm. Don't worry about it. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I don't have 25 husks. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Fair enough. Since you're just sitting on your ass doing nothing. Well. Let's start to the left, then. There's a tower over here I have yet to discover. Well, abandoned tower. Cool. Anything here? There's a bone man. Who the fuck shot me? Is that you? Die. How the hell do I get in there and kill you? The endless sleep comes for us all. I don't know. I have no fucking idea. But here's some more husks. This looks like a big thing. Doesn't hurt me though. Well, okay. Damn, I can't hit this fucker. Maybe I have to get him with an arrow. You will know the cold of that works. You will die eventually now. Ow. Okay. I do not know what to do here. There's this over here. More husks. I definitely want to see what that guy has to offer. Those lightning strikes? There's more husks. Cool, cool. This place is... a little less spooky than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's just a couple of skeletons and... some stuff I don't understand. A lot of points on the map, but not a lot happening with them. Kinda disappointing. Is this a shrine? I missed the name of that actually. <laughs> shrine of the Bone Man. Conjure Bone Man. Ow. 
Holy shit! I'm about to die. What the hell happened to me? Gotcha. Getting a lot of soul gems. This would be a good place to farm soul gems, that's for sure. What the hell are you? You're fucking rad. Show yourself. What the hell? Why are you fighting your own summon? <laughs> what the fuck? Here, I'll help you. There, it's dead. Happy? Can I worship the bone man? Did that just say 27 husks? What, what are the husks under? Put everything. Ah, old gym fragments. Soul husk. No, it did not say twenty-seven. I have twenty-three of them, so I'm almost, almost got enough. But I want to check out this big thing. This has got to have something at it, right? It'd be insane not to. Keeper's Garden. Who named these places? And of course, it's a big boss fight. Oh, shit. He's got a ton of health. Uh, not that bad. Okay, he's that bad. No, dude, when was the last time I fucking saved? God damn. Oh my god, I literally have to start over for the entire episode. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, you big son of a bitch. I ain't falling for that one twice. Eee. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> so easy this time. God damn. What were you hiding? Probably fucking nothing knowing this map. Is there anything up here? No? Nothing at all? Just a big dude? Nothing here. There's people on the other side of that, but I don't know where the fuck... I don't know how to get these gates open. Oh, look at that. I can just go around. Neat! Oh, well, I can't get up there, huh? I wonder how you open those doors. That's so... Like, it's pissing me off. <laughs> I feel so stupid for not knowing what to do. But for now, I'm gonna fucking save my game, because Jesus Christ, that was no fun. <laughs> Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Just a pool of the galaxy. I might have enough soul husks by now. Let me check. Yeah, I got 36. So let me go back to that guy and actually remove that. Let me fast travel there. Sup, dude, I'm Brought back. Some soul husks, or... Of course I do. What do you want? 
Oh, what the hell is this? A spell tone. Sure, here you go. Can't understand a word of it. Maybe it will do you some good. That was it? You're just a loot box? God damn it. Um... Spell tomes are down here. Hunter Bone Man. Haste Mount. Mountain moves 24% faster with unlimited stamina. That's pretty good, I guess. Let's continue to uncover the map here. Oh, there's a doggo. Bad doggo. Anyway. Another lightning rod. Holy shit, I can't talk. I'll place another soul gem in. Somebody rising from the dead, eh? Who's there? Ow. Oh, fuck me. Whoo, I dodged out of there just in time. Well, that guy had something I need. A steel pike? I don't think so, actually. Okay, cool. One down, more to go. I do just have to go that way. There's so much other stuff to... I'm gonna complete this map because I don't know if we're gonna be able to come back here. I assume we are. Just because of... They wouldn't give you missions just to fucking not do them. The fact that there are side quests in here really make me think that. Wrath Man. Ow. Dog. Please. Die. His name was Zool. These guys had names. <laughs> Didn't make him any tougher. Oh, son of a bitch. Hang on. Holy fuck, he just one shot her. Okay. Oh, don't get stuck on geometry right now. I need to. Do this and or is it under here? I'm really too forced no. Where is the black book spell? Secrets of Arcana. Okay. That's what I need. Let me use that right now and fucking destroy this man. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I just blasted the fuck out of her, dude. Now these these aren't aren't protecting nothing, huh? Big tower, you'd think I'd be able to get inside the big tower. It's not doing it for me. Maybe I'm just stupid? I don't know. On your wrath, man. That's good. Though they are quite bitches. Yeah, your little stick don't hurt me, boy. My stick does more. More damage. Okay. Liar of- oh, Lair of the Reaper? I'm fucking stupid. I don't really need those anymore. Enter Reaper's Lair. Fuck it! You know what? I'm gonna save the game. Look at me. Look at me saving the game and being a good boy. 
All right. Hello? Activate Reaper Shard. You lack the required item. Is that it right there? Is that the required item? Or is that the Reaper himself? Comes out after you spawn him. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Next. Let's level up real quick. Then the stamina. Why is my... Oh, I'm weaker here. That's right. I forgot. Okay, so that's on the other side, really. So we're going to swing around to the right here. Or actually, there's not much on the right. Oh, hey, it's a horse. Hello? Horse? I understand you're running around. I cannot interact with you in any way, shape, or form. I can't even kill you. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Quest be bugging. Another lightning rod. Might as well do it. just mowing through these guys except for this fucking guy this fucking guy's a goddamn tank holy shit okay If I'm supposed to jump in this fucking thing. But I'm not gonna. What do you want? What exactly are you doing? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? Opus, what do you mean? What do I mean indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament. Ah, oh, shut the and fuck we up. Wouldn't be having this conversation. Let's just start from the beginning. Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time couldn't hurt. I am Jib. Some call me Saint Jib. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. Perhaps you heard of me can't say i have bud i can't say that i'm surprised by your answer until i get my second volume published no one will ever know of my achievements you're talking about a book a book i'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply a book you're only on part two sure, <laughs> The rise and fall of Saint Jim the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. <laughs> Maybe a shorter title is in order. Yeah, dude, that's not good for Maybe the YouTube you algorithm, bro. The to an expert. Stop making foolish suggestions. As you were going terrible. so far. Simply terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's unfair. Who threw you in here? That damn Dramora and his minions. They didn't even give me a chance to explain who I was. A Dramora captured well, you? I assume so. It cast a spell at me from 
Some kind of strange black crystal. Yeah, that'll do it. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. Your soul was trapped. What? Wait. That means. Hello? <laughs> You're dead. No. All these wasted months, or has it been years? I don't even remember how much time has passed. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Could I help you? Perhaps. Do you have a way with me? I do, but I can't. But you can't leave Maybe that way. I can't leave. But my writings can. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all of this from memory. How many pages did when you I lose? Here, I felt myself no, falling. dude. I don't want to do that. The pages <laughs> I've been holding. There were ten of them in all. Find them for me, please. I beg you. Why would a Dramara attack you? That's a ridiculous question. I've already Everyone found two pages. Here, oh, that's... That the oblivion gates have been opening okay. all over Tamriel. That was a bit before my time. Been that long. Oh my. Well, it started with the followers of Meru's Dagon having Emperor Uriel Septim VII assassinated. Yeah, that was the last Without game, bro. On the throne of the Empire, you gotta catch up. Dagon was able to leave Oblivion through the gates and attack. Why was Dagon a little bit Is that without a septum <laughs> sitting on the throne of the Empire, the dragon fires in a place called the Temple of the One were no longer lit. This meant that we were vulnerable to the forces of Oblivion. What ended up happening? I don't know. Everything seemed fine until that Dremora attacked me. I only heard later about the gates from the other souls. I can only assume the gates have been closed by now. Why were you captured? How did you earn your nickname? Ah, yes. This ain't Jib. Jib the Eradicator. Jib the Magnificent. I've earned a lot of those The amazing Jib? To my campaign against the Winged Menace. Winged Menace? Yes. I'm speaking of the Cliff Racer, of course. Wretched things. They used to crisscross the skies over Morrowind like vermin. Nasty flying creatures with a habit of sneaking up on the unwary. That was your campaign. What was your campaign against After I was freed from prison, I decided to turn my life around. Give something back to the people of Morrowind. It became quickly apparent that the best way I could help would be by wiping out the cliff racers. Were you successful? Indeed I was. I hunted down and killed every last one of them. Took years. The people of Morrowind were so grateful to have the road safer again, they took to calling me St. Jib, and then the other names followed. You said you were in prison? That was a dark time in my life. I did a lot of things I ended up regretting. Maybe that's why I worked so hard to redeem myself once I was freed. What'd you do? I murdered others for money. <laughs> okay. And before you think I belong to some romantic or secretive kill, think again. That's quite I the was turnaround. an addict who needed money for skooma. The stuff wasn't cheap, and murder always seemed to be in demand. God damn, bro. Did you get I caught? I finally bit off more than I could chew. I was paid to assassinate some high-ranking official from House Redoran. What I didn't know is someone had hired the Morag Tong to kill him as well. Rival assassin? Exactly. He got to my target first and called the guard to cover his tracks. By the time I got there, the place was on alert. Walked right into a trap and didn't even realize it until I was captured. 
So I jammed up. Oh, so what ended up happening to you? They tried me for murder. Threw me I figured that much. And sent me to the jail in Vivek City. Gave me a lot of time to think. That's for sure. Okay. Thanks again. That's Vivek. enough of Jib. I don't know what and I think that's enough of this place, honestly. I'm just gonna head straight for mommy vampire dearest after I get this citadel of lost souls yeah this place a little disappointing in my opinion haven't really found anything worthwhile or worth doing couple of uh couple of cool guys this dude's just chill but let's uh let's get to the marker here there's a dragon thing which hopefully there isn't actually a dragon because Jesus Christ I'm gonna spend fucking five episodes here fighting it the boneyard is this where I need to go it sure is uh mother mother it can't be Oh, is there she is. Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We She's so talk. surprised. Sarvana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? How the it fuck did you know I was a vampire hunter? Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. This is no ruse. I want to keep her safe. I saved her from your foolish plan. I'm just here for the Elder Scrolls. I want to keep her safe, even though I've been blasting Coming her in the face and doing all sorts of shit. <laughs> I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here, for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does she fit in? Myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition well. dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. So it requires her blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen. How exactly do you plan on stopping him? I'll need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's opinion in this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Care, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. <laughs> she believes in me, why won't you? Serana, 
This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? <laughs> if you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, <laughs> that he needs your blood. She just looked at me like this bitch, dude. Danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Yeah, Maybe doubt we don't it. We deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here Good. ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to do? We need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should oh, be. Oh, okay, two down. down. Or return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Idol Masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Two out of three already down. All right, let's get to it. And keep my daughter safe. I'm guessing that's the last one. Off we go. We. I've already discovered that one. That is the keeper's guard. Ah. Oh. One I need to kill is all the way over there, huh? Well. <laughs> he ain't got no legs to chop ah. off, dude. What are you doing? All right, let's actually... Level five? Are you kidding? Dude, you're dumb. Okay, but what is this? Do I jump in here? Whoa! Neat! Guess that fast traveled me up here, but it didn't bring my friends. How unfortunate. Hello, everyone. Oh! Oh. Son of a bitch, dude. Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again. This time, maybe I can stun lock his ass? We'll see. Otherwise, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, Monathan's here this time. I just stun lock you to death, please. I'll bully this man. I'll bully this man. Oh, get fucked, kid. Hell yeah. 
Sick as fuck. Okay, finally some progress. Hello, we're here. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Yes, are you able to give us the skull now? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Cool. Oh shit, look at all this. Oh, I need that for the museum. Those are good. Roll of paper. Ooh, cards. Got some trading cards, dude. This whole soul husk seems a little small, but okay. Holy crap, we're here. We did it. Oh my lord. Time to fight a dragon? Yep. <laughs> He's, here. Defend yourselves. He's only level 40, though. Who's there? No. Oh, but he summons ads. Okay, but where'd he go? He's dying, I know he is. Don't fucking taunt me, you dumbass. Well, that's gonna be a problem, ain't it? <laughs> At least he's still burning while he fucking does all this. You bitch. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. When the fuck did that happen? Yeah, more ads. God damn it. Come on. There's one down. Oh, hello. Kill the bone man. Okay, he's halfway dead. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. Until I get one shot. Or just fucking bullied by fucking bone man. You sit there and take it, you big bitch. You dipshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Do I get a soul from that? No, I don't get anything from that? Wow. Cheap as fuck. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Dude, I've killed so fucking many. <laughs> Makes you say that. Volumes written on Dernavir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Oh, fuck off. How long will that take? Minutes. Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Yes, please. Is it in this big coffin? Yep. Retrieve the Elder Scroll. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll. Holy shit, I'm taking all this. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. I'm carrying too much. Uh, any books? I need this one. Oh wait, I already had that one. I already Sorry. had that one on me. 
Sorry. It's alright. Let's, uh... Uh, stash my bullshit here. Which is where? Oh, it's still further down. Stash supplies. This spell is so fucking useful. I'm so glad that I fucking read about it. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. Can you help me get my soul so back? My daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Good, because I can use all the help Your I can get. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul cairn, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. Aww. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. Any idea where it could There's be? There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. We'll return for you as soon as we can. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep me safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Turn to Tamriel, but I need my soul back. Does that trump? Okay, where is Beyond Death? Return to Tamriel. Where is my soul, guys? Tree of Soul Essence. Okay. We'll go here. <laughs> it's like they're trying to get me to leave without my soul. <laughs> Alright, where to? That one? The one place I didn't fucking bother to go to? <laughs> Fortress of the Lost. Okay. Hello, Sam. Hmm. Is it just a maze? Oh, uh, is it? Is it up top? It is. No, sir. No ice. Only fire. Fire, death, and pain for you, sir. Aha! Teleport. Sends me up top. I'm actually going to save the game because I don't know what's up here. That's going to piss me off even further. Aha! Cool. Now, if I wanted to be cheeky, I could sit here and farm this all goddamn day. Because I can outheal that. But... Doesn't matter. I got my soul. So does that mean I have my stats back? I do. I do have all my stats back. Cool. Now... Gotta return to the portal. Why can't I... Can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Fuck. Run away! Awaits. Back up the stairs we go. These are really cool stairs. I'm assuming we can come back here now whenever we please. But I don't know that. I might just be leaving these unfinished quests behind. 
All right, beyond death. Cool. Jonathan, Serena. Hello, hello. Okay, now that we got the other Elder Scroll, do we just go back to... Gotta get this... Uh, I've been told to ask the College of Winterhold. Okay. Interesting. So now we're just on our way to a different quest. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, okay, so this little area is just to get you outside so that you can fast travel away. That's nice of them. Okay, we are back at the college, and I am going to call it there because Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to edit the shit out of this episode. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, so if the commentary is a little bit lacking or, you know, it's just overall shit episode, uh, just know I had to play this fucking episode like three times over just because I kept dying and not saving my game and I really am probably going to install an autosave mod <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one hello everybody and welcome back to the adventures of tardy penis and Juanathan uh we are back actually in the soul Karen because I was told to definitely get the horse before I left and so I looked up where the quest I don't know specifically where it is but I was told to go to the boneyard and head east so that's what we're gonna be doing right now and then after that we're gonna go back to the college and and follow up on the the elder scroll mystery try to find the last one stay your weapons oh i would speak with you oh benign. what i thought you were dead cursed not dead doomed to exist in this form for eternity trapped between loss and enoch between Not loss and Danak. And death. Oh. Why are we speaking? Didn't you try to kill me? I have more pressing matters to attend to. Uh, didn't you try to kill me? The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. So why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. Damn straight, boy. My Kicked claws your ass. have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. Well, there's a first time for I everything, you big bitch. I name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Yo, that's sick, but I go by penis. Found you equally worthy, Your not really. Words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully. Are you going to ask for me to free you? you? What kind of favor? For countless years, I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Mm. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. Why the fuck would I do that? What's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. Oh. If Been here I too long? far from the soul cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. That's cool, bro. How could I help you? <laughs> I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. No fucking Do way I get to summon the dragon? And I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally. And teach you my food. Razamazin is the word for ally? That is such a mouthful. Uh, just call your name in Tamriel, that's it? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. Huh. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. 
Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Learn all three words of a shout, finally. Oh, just because it's only one word? That's funny. Wow, I get to summon him. That's insane. Okay. Yeah, there's three words. Uh, how did you end up here? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Were you part of all that? I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. Oh. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. Necromancy dragon is super cool. <laughs> you sought the soul Karen for answers. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions. Well, I've the matched undead. them, buddy. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. Well, that didn't happen. They didn't tell you she was immortal? I discovered too late that the ideal masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind. But fortunately, they couldn't possess my soul. Is that why you're free now? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The soul cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. Unless I, I spoke your name. I that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. Uh, why do you call me Quenarin? In my language, the Quenarin is the vanquisher. Yeah, you the said that before. I guess I just didn't catch it. In battle. <laughs> I'm not a dragon. Forgive me. I'm a penis. My I'm a was to Argonian. This title. I am uncertain why. Perhaps one day it will become clear to both of us. Oh, like if I'm a Dova Keen? Okay. Well, got me a dragon. That's fucking cool. And over east here is where I saw I need to go for the horse. So I will do that. Ah, and here we are. I was told that there's four dudes standing here. And then they turn into bone men. Oh, you gotta get the skull. Easy. Easy peasy. Look at this. So easy. Get fucked, kids. Ow. <laughs> oh, I got your legs! <laughs> I love that. I love that that's an animation for those enemies. That is hilarious to me. Anyway. Return the skull. Hello, sir. How are you? Am I in danger? I am. Well, not really. Oh. Oh, did you? You summoned the bone men. Interesting. Okay, so I think I have to go back to the dude who was like right here somewhere. Cannot fast travel with enemies nearby. 
epic. Excuse me, enemies, can you fuck off? Please? Thank you. Ow. Ow. Excuse you. Is that it? Can I fast travel now? Please and thank you. God damn it. <laughs> I love him running around. Who's there? Oh my god, there's more? Ah, there you are. I still remember how to fight. Well, I'm just gonna make my way over there until I can fucking fast travel. Which is now. Of course. Okay. I can sh I should consider taking a bath soon. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wash your penis, ladies and gentlemen. Especially ladies, I guess. Um, he was over here somewhere, right? Hello, was that you? Did you know I visited elsewhere once? What a strange and wondrous place. That's fucking cool, bro. Uh, where the hell is the dude I'm looking for? Let me actually check my journal real quick. Uh, return the skull. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> he was here the whole time. There he is. Hello, sir. Arvac, you saved him. Wait, didn't I talk to this guy? His soul is free. I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. Oh! He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. I will. I promise. Am I... Why is my cursor... Okay, he just disappeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. So we've got both... The summon horse and summon dragon. That's awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. Shared trauma. I don't remember getting that. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Arvac. Cool. Let's use it. See what happens. Oh, it takes quite a bit of magic. I didn't do fuck all, actually. Well, <laughs> guess I'm still fast traveling everywhere. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're back. And maybe, maybe I can summon the horse. Probably not on this bridge, but somewhere. Maybe I have to be outside of the Soul Cairn, but even though he said it would help me get around that place. May I help you, Archer? No, leave me alone. Uh, here he, Here's my regular horse. Uh, let me... Yep. Yo! 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 You're sick as fuck, dude! Hell yeah, bro! Oh, that's so sick. Now I've got my own horse. Hell yeah. Just what I needed. All right. You're sick as hell. And I'm definitely glad I got that. And I'm sure the dragon will come in clutch. Sorry, bud. Your services are no longer required. Have a good day. Clean out your desk. Go home. Fuck yourself. I mean, he's been an all right horse. I really haven't used them a lot, but I think I'm going to be using that horse whenever I need to, whenever I can't fast travel somewhere and I got to go. But for now, uh, we go to journal. Ah, okay. It's over here. We got to talk to someone about an Elder Scroll. 
Okay, where are you at? You in here? Hey, wake up. Why are you? Uh I'm looking for an and elder what scroll. What do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more about what I'm I asking about. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An elder scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read yes. an elder scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind or else risk madness. Cool. So, well, I've got two the of them. Usually take the reader's sight as a price. A price for what? The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Jesus Christ. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, dude? <laughs> you can't just say that shit. You Facebook fact checker, bro. Uh, who wrote the Elder Scrolls? It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls okay. exist here with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you have one that I can use? Ah, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. I'm kind the of the fucking the headmaster of this bitch. Uh, do you at least have any information on them? I need to find out. Uh, do you have any of information? Course. Cool. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. That'll work. Uh. Okay. All right then. Oh, so you're just gonna slowly walk over there. What the hell are you doing? Where did you come from, huh? Yeah, don't look me in the eye, you traitor. You good, bro? Yeah, he's good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna follow this man for a bit. Be right back. Maybe waking him up in the middle of the night probably wasn't a good idea because <laughs> it takes so long. Is in disarray. When books are strewn about here and there, it makes it impossible to determine if a book's been checked out. I'm sorry. It's just the professors come in here and scatter the books without any concern for the person who has to clean up. I thought it might be more efficient if I waited until the end of the day to put the books back on the shelves. And shall I be forced to wait until the end of the day as well? I will need to have a word with Hurag regarding your training. Well, good thing he's here. Right? Right? Where the fuck did he go? Come on, man. Where are you going, bro? No, don't do that. You got him? Archmage. Uh, quite the impressive library. Work so seriously, what do you got for sale? Bro, can and I get- What do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking? You think that even if it would be kept under the highest security, the greatest- th I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. I'll bring everything we have, so don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with- Okay, well what conjecture. the fuck are you doing? Here you go. Try not to spill anything on that. <sighs> Bruh. Literally two fucking steps. Oh, here they are. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Use that. Oh, 
uh, discover the whatever. Oh, God damn it. Why do I have to keep talking to this asshole? May I help you, Archmage? Uh. The book is incomprehensible. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Is he dead? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Okay, well that makes sense. Scout scrolling. Okay. Our new objective is to find... Uh, Septum Sugma, whatever. Oh, come on, bro. Bruh. Just jump over the thing. God damn. Okay, so very important, very important. Save the goddamn game. I do not want to be doing that shit over again. That was insufferable. So let's see here. I don't have it tracked, do I? There he is. Oh, and look at that. All the way over there. Well, you know what? Is there a window somewhere? Fuck yeah, there is. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Oh my god. I did it. Wow, what are the odds? Hello, sir. How are you? You good? Yeah, you're good. You're just a lonely skelly man. I like that even if I hit their shield, it stacks the fucking fire. Cool. Anything good on y'all? That's all right. You suck. Okay. Hey. You're headless. How can you shoot a bow without a head? I'm gonna knock you off this goddamn cliff, bro. Get shit on. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ, just get the fuck out of me. Yeah, you can also go die off a cliff. Anyone else? No? Okay. Let me put that away. Wee. So much fun. This guy's quite a ways away. Oh, hello. Nah, you're cool. We cool, we cool. Is that his camp right there? Hello, Septum Sugma. You're looking for an Elder Scroll. His outpost, okay. Okay. Oh no, I want a roll. I hate the G changes that, but okay. There he is. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> Dig. Excuse me. Dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Another one of these fucking guys <laughs> that I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean by rise? When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Are you researching these dudes? Septimus is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Cool. I'm also an idiot child, I guess. I don't understand. Are you insane? The warp of air, the weft of time. Uh, then the madness begins. How long will it be sung? My feet were set upon the rock, but it turned to mud and drew me down. It licked the panes and smokes the glass. But I'll rise to your depths, and I'll know your lost unknown. 
Dude, I have no fucking idea what this man is on about. Do you know anything about an Elder Scroll? Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Okay, so where is it? Here. Cool. Well, here as in this plain. Mondas. Tamriel. Okay, motherfucker. <laughs> speaking. God damn it. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Can you help me get it or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. Oh, God, what do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an thought idiot he was an idiot child. child. Yeah, that's what I the thought. Dullest of the Dwemer. Okay, but dude. <laughs> said that before. They have their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Black Reach. Have you heard of Black Reach? I don't think Cast so. On where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Zark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tap. God, I hope there's a fucking Girl quest marker. Its limits and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Okay. Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Okay, what do I do with those? What do you want with the Elder Scroll? What is an Elder Scroll you your besides left, you see one a franchise? You look to your right, you see a but neither is any harder than the opposite. But the elder I don't know why I fucking asked this guy any questions. And right in the stream of time. How the future and past are as one. Sometimes they even look up. What do they see then? What if they dive in? Ah, then the madness begins. Okay, dude. I don't even know why I'm fucking talking to you anymore. Is there... Why are you doing alchemy? Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go find the thing with the stuff in the butt and the fuck. Um, yeah. Is there a quest marker, please, for the love of God? Transcribe the lexicon. Is that on the world map? It is. Okay, good. And I have a, a very close fast travel point. Thank Christ. God, what a weird guy, dude. Let us fast travel to... Wait, is that on top of a mountain? Looks like it is. Yeah, so it'll be easier to just fly down there with the... Uh, uh, paraglider. Jesus. Words. Okay, I can't see a goddamn thing. So let's jump off a cliff. Excellent. 
<laughs> I can't see shit. Oh no, I passed it. What the hell, dude? <laughs> I can't see shit. Uh, this seems to be the entrance, maybe? Oh fuck, did I? I just fucked this. Nope, I got it. Wooden door? Hello? Can you open the door? Is it too hard for you? There's bar from the other side. So do I have to go in that other way? Because it looks like it might... Okay, I'm going to wait out this storm real quick. Maybe the game loads. And then I'm going to wait for daytime. Okay. Jesus Christ, the snow is deep here, huh? Yeah, doors barred from the other side. I think... Did I... I didn't discover this point yet. So let's go further down the mountain. I don't see... Let me see. Oh, this is, uh... Not where I need to be. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Is that it over there? It's very far off. I don't understand why it would tell me to go there. Okay, here's that. It's telling me to go up there. Maybe, maybe Wanathan's got the right idea. What the hell are you doing in there, buddy? And in research post. How the hell did you even get in there? You son of a bitch. Fuck me. I don't know where to go. I guess I'll go down here. This too far down? Oh, yep. It's too far down. Okay. Now it's saying it's over there. This is all fucky wucky. So it looks like it is inside that cave and I just need to not jump off the fucking bridge. Cause it looks like, yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Thank God. All right, let me actually save the game now that I know where I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, hello. Metal ingot, noise. Okay. Old campfires. This goes deeper in. Hello? Potion. I know you were trying to keep it for yourself. Wait, what? You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more scoop. Shut up, shut up. Don't lie to me, Jazar. You hid it. You always try to steal it from me. What? Who is this brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? But this one wasn't trapped with us. No. No! Lord, Ow! You no, 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 no. Holy shit, did you just do a front flip in front of me? Okay, I don't know what the fuck your problem is, but it no longer matters because you are thoroughly dead. Looks like he won't get his skooma. Oh, shit. Hello. Damn your tanky son, bitch. Okay. Here's some dead people. With nothing on them. Empty skooma bottles. Oh. There's that dude's journal that I just killed. Got some money. Cool. Interesting. How interesting. What the hell is this thing? Oh, fuck me. These things are gonna kick my ass, huh? Get him, girl! Get 
Okay, you're dead. Hell yeah. She's a tank. All right. This still is not where we need to go. So what does the local map say? Oh, it says we're not that far, actually. Is it this way? Am I going the right way? I am not. Maybe uh, it looks like I have to get up there somehow. Mm, okay, so I probably have to go here, go around. Take that soul gem. Oh, look. Excavation site. Tink, 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 tink. Found a bunch of goodies. So I probably have to go this way. Head up somehow, but also... Oh shit, don't want to summon my horse. Just gotta bob and weave, apparently. What the hell? What is up with this? Is a totem? She's actually about to die. You good, girl. Don't worry about it. Okay, so there seems to be a chest. Couple of chests, it looks like. There we go. Didn't lose a lockpick. Hell yeah. Chuck that up to a win. Damn it. <laughs> Got that one easy. Necklace of dwindling fire. Need that. That's good. Everything else is kind of meh. Does this go up? It does indeed go up. So I was correct in my assumption of going around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing I didn't step on that button. That would have fucking probably insta-killed me. Oh, I need the oil. Heard that's good for alchemy. Cool. Easy peasy. Oh, there's some potions, some goodies. Do I need those? I do not. Do I need any of those? I do not. Okay. Be on the lookout for traps. Oh, uh, look at this. Come on now. Easy. Oh, this has got an enemy in it. <laughs> Did you buff me? You fucked, idiot. Take that. It's all good. Decorative strut? No, thank you. Probably weighs like 20 pounds and I don't even know. Oh, good thing I checked my corners. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Here's where I need to go. I can just yeet. Haha, -ha, get fucked, stupid. You dumb little pushing bullshit. Oh, hold on, I gotta jump in more. Ready? We're just gonna move along. Hopefully they can take care of that one enemy back there. Ah, but here it is. 
the place we need to go. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Okay. Now it's on the other side. Let's see if we can just speed run this. So I am going a little bit over time, but not that that has ever mattered to me. I'll just walk past all these enemies. Excuse me while I don't trip any of those. Uh, squeeze through, eh? With my big ass backpack? Sure. I'll let you follow me. Am I going down? We. Uh oh. No! My game crashed. Okay, round two. This time we're definitely gonna speedrun it. Okay, back at it again with the bullshit. This time I'm not gonna jump down. <laughs> Use that paraglider indoors. I don't think it would like that. Uh huh. Easy, please be easy. Please be easy. Please. Thank you. Lock picking 64. Whoop, get juked, dumbass. Open the door, please. Thank you. Don't care about that. Uh, do I care about any of this, actually? Is this not the way to go? That's an expert. Yeah, no. Oh, I'm gonna die. Fuck! Do I need to go further down? Oh, there's Falmer now. I'm assuming it's even further down. Excuse me, sir. Um, what the hell happened to me? Okay. Weird. Ow. Okay, he just fucking shot. Now I'm just running around with the healing spell going constantly. And juking these motherfuckers. God damn. Avoid the tripwire. Excuse you. Coming through. Excuse me. Coming through. Open door. Dodging arrows. Going through door. Oh shit, I dodged that one real good. Okay, where the hell is this thing? Uh oh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. It says it's like right here. Is it so below me? Seems to still be below me. Let me actually close this door. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on here. I can just out heal these fuckers. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, I'm fucking so scared right now. There it is. Restoration is going up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Watch out for that. Cool. And we exit. <laughs> Just run it right through. Okay. That's another checkpoint. Hopefully this is actually the end where this fucking thing is. Nope. Still no. Excuse me. That looks fucking rad. This looks like it. Okay, I might die. Yep. Okay, this one I might actually try to take out everyone here. Damn. 
Hello. Yep. Fuck you. Yeah, this guy fucking hurts, this guy. You, motherfucker. Oh my god, I have no idea what I just did to you. Take your dagger, though. Okay. Gotta come up here and push the button, I'm assuming? Or pull the lever, crunk? Oh, I could have just squeezed through. Okay, well that's interesting. I'm glad they put those in there for just like a... You're fucking me right now. This guy's gonna take a fuck ton. Time to use the big ol' infinite mana. Nuke them to hell. There we go. Cleared. Got the fucking key. Okay. Is that all we needed? Sella, let's just get out of here. Hasn't there been enough death? Oh, of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. What was that? Hello? Who's there? Who's the bad guy here? You know what? I don't give a fuck about either of y'all's story. Fuck y'all. <laughs> there we go. Let's just use this fucking thing. And it goes down even further? God damn. Need that. And now I'm... Got too much, which means it's time to stash supplies. Oh, and use it long enough, I guess. There we go. Stash materials, and we're good to go. Enter Black Reach. Okay. Okay, this is cool. Holy shit, this is cool. Big old mushrooms, big old... Is that a jellyfish? I can't even tell. That might be a big mushroom, I don't know. This is cool as hell. Uh, I'm actually gonna uh, stop it there, though. We will definitely find out next time, because this looks like a whole thing. Yeah, that is mushrooms. There's Nernrude down there that I'm hearing, but yeah, this will be cool. Uh, it's like almost 10 o'clock here. 10 o'clock at night, and I, I have to upload this video for tomorrow. But... I'm just going to cut it off there. <laughs> Next time we'll be going through Black Reach. And it'll be super cool, I promise, maybe. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. And Wanathan. And Serana now? Wait, where, where are they exactly? And you know what? Let's throw Cat Vegetable back in there. He's part of the team. But, uh, you know, he's just here in spirit, which is totally fine. But we are back here in Black Reach. I don't know why I went to the map. It's underground, clearly. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see what is going on here with all the mushrooms. I am going to be killing everything. Because, uh, ooh, gotcha. I'm no longer doing the, the speed run strats. <laughs> I actually want to see this place. I don't know where my companions have gone. That is a little concerning. Not going to lie. But it should be okay. Let's check this place first. Field laboratory. Oh, there's more Nern root. I hear it. Oh, Crimson Nern Root. Interesting. There's a bunch of little stuff. I'm not gonna... I'll pick up all the potions. Or wait, no, those are fake! They're not real! There's only two that are real! <laughs> That's not fair. 
Anything in here? 10 bucks. That's it. Hello? Is anyone home? This seems to be well lived in. Oh, that was just a gyro. There's an exit. Oh, it goes up. Interesting. Hello? More plants to harvest. There's a ton of shit to harvest. And then this just goes to the top. Okay. Nice vantage point, at least. Oh, ho, ho. I see some dudes down there. I'll snipe them. This area is huge. This is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Damn, this place is big. Uh, let me turn back on my compass. That actually doesn't help. It's just that way in general. Okay, this place is cool, though. Very interesting. Uh, I don't think there was anyone in... That, uh, field... This looks like a mineable ore. But I don't think there was anyone in the in the field laboratory, which is fine. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. I can't fucking hit this thing. And then it crashes my game as soon as I do. Get fucked, asshole. I'll take your stuff just because I feel like it. Damn, there's nerd root all over the place. What does this lever do? Why the fuck do I touch things without thinking? Oops. And I already used my power today. Ow. Oh, there's Wanathan. Hello. Welcome back. I'm gonna just poke him a bit. How's this looking for charge? Is this okay? Uh, it's pretty low. Let me just re-up it with a petty soul gem. Now that he's done playing with Wanathan. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Steam hurts. Luckily, we didn't lose that much progress, which is fine. In fact, can I actually get this out in time? No, I can't. Oh, well. Nice. There's that fucking thing again. Cool. Damn, it actually got me to half health. I'm assuming that's half health. That's what it looked like. Now, if I attack this thing... Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Okay, you're an asshole. And someone's shooting arrows at me, you fuck. Clearly trying to fight this boss. Oh, shit. Okay, we're on the move. Uh, I don't know where Wanathan came from, but he's gone again. Ow, you motherfucker. Fuck you. Whoa. 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 Okay. You want to fucking go to? Fuck you up. Oh my god. He actually took out half my health. Again. That guy's almost dead. Ooh, exquisite, eh? Didn't know they had helmets. Shovel. Take your ears. Poisons. Oops. And this thing. 
Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. He's almost dead. Let me just finish you off there. Get fucked. God damn. That was a pretty good shot, I'm not gonna lie. I liked it. But... Looks like there's another... Bad guy. Oh, there's an excavation site. Can I do this with enemies nearby? I cannot do that while in combat. Okay. Let me just find this dude. And put him out of his misery. No? Did he de-aggro? I think he might have de-aggroed. Interesting. Why does he have vampire dust? That's weird. Can I do this now? I'm still in combat. Interesting. I think I will have to come back later for it. Oh, there's the Nern root I picked up last time. Oh, see the red dots back. That son of a bitch. Where is he though? Oh, there's more Nern root. If I can get up there, which I can. Uh, do I really have to just walk across this tightrope situation? This balance beam? No, I can't. I can't move. Why can I not jump over this stupid little X? Uh, ah, uh, okay. Well, that'll just be annoying for a while. I am collecting all the Nern root. Oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. I see you. Get over here, you fuck. Man, I was barely in combat. That doesn't even count. Wee. Now can I do it? I'm still in combat. You suck, dude. You absolutely suck. Fuck it. We're moving on. There's more Falmer. Oh, there's one. Fuck you, bitch. 81. And I guess this guy's coming down this winding path. Come on, you big bitch. Where you at? Destruction level 60. Hell yeah. I think that uh, gives us something, doesn't it? Doesn't it unlock something in the skills? Let me see. Let me go to destructions already here. 60. 50, 50, 50, 70, 60. That's not, uh, useful to me. Impact? Yeah. Projectile based damage. Cool. Uh, oh, do I already have? No, I don't. I need that. God damn it. This fucking menu is horrendous. Oh my God. Go to the one I fucking need, please. Are you sure you want this perk? Yes. Cool. 30% more damage, pretty much. If I hit them head on, I'm assuming. All right. Oh, there's some more Nern root. I'm not collecting all of it per se. I just want to get the ones I've seen. Oh. Oh. Let's go, fucker. I am losing health rapidly. Okay. Cool. Well, 
this place is quite expansive. Another one of these fuckers. Can I just do like double damage him? I can't. Oh! Okay, I actually need to get in the first person again. I need you to move it. He missed! What an idiot! Just swap off from using stamina and using magic. Whoa! Almost got me there, pal! You dick. I'm getting better at the combat. And I should actually save the game now that I'm thinking about it. Because I've yet- I've still yet to fucking... <laughs> Uh, download a autosave mod, but that's mainly just because uh, I'll probably do it on my day off, but haven't had one, so rip a -rooney. I just get off work and record an episode directly afterwards. Ah, is that the big tower I need to go to to get this freaking... Stupid little thing crafted. Yo, that's sick. Look at that. Neat. I hear you. I hear you. You fucking... Where are you? I hear you. There's more underneath there, isn't there? Looks like it. Oh, well. Good. This is the building I need for the lexicon, right? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Hello? Oh! Tower of Mzark. Okay, is anyone home? Is this place just... 100% abandoned? Like, I'm not gonna find any other people here. I'll take the glowing sap. That's fine. Take this potion of healing. Book, 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 book! Armorer's challenge. Smithing increased to 30. Not that I've ever needed that. Um, stash supplies. Stash materials. I still can't run. Oh, man. You know what that means. Fuck. I'll put it with the gems. Oh my god, I still have all these burned books in here. Fuck, I forgot. Okay. Amulet of the Gargoyle. I did pick this up, I remember. While wearing the amulet, cast some, casting summon gargoyle will summon an additional gargoyle for 60 seconds. The summon gargoyle is more resilient and against magical harm. Hmm. That doesn't sound as good as Wanathan, to be honest. Okay, that seems to be enough of that. Definitely gonna have to go back to the museum after this and fix some shit. Oh, it's opening this way inside. Neat. Very, very cool. Big ball, big orb, and I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. But there's a bunch of shit back here. Major archery, shock suppression. Imminent destruction, boots of strength. Increased carry capacity by 30. Destruction spells cost 15% less and do 50 more. 50 burr, 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 bows do 16 more damage. I don't need any of that. I'll be real with you. I honestly don't really care. So. We're just gonna be going up and seeing what's what. Is this another one of those puzzles with the crystal? Doesn't seem like it. There's some books. I'll take all of that we can get. Dwarven Mace. Okay, there's some more books. Okay. 
some dude's journal. Don't care. Lamal. But this is where I put the lexicon in, right? Or it's up here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Oh, fuck me. It is a puzzle, huh? Well, I can only hit... Oh, no. I can hit all the buttons. Let's just see what they do. Okay, so those don't seem to do anything. What about this button? Okay. What about this button? Just turns it the other way. Okay, let me read this journal. Okay, from what I'm seeing... It says that these need to line up. So let me... Try a couple things here. Okay, so that doesn't work. So, do I have to... Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. I did something. And this button opened up. If I hit it again. Oh, that opened this button. It looks like all the words are on it. Okay. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't have any fucking clue what the hell I just did. But hey, there's an Elder Scroll. Cool. That's awesome. And is this a way out? Seems to be a way out. Yeah, this will probably send me to the tower we saw earlier that Wanathan was in that I couldn't get into. Okay, I'm definitely saving the game again because I don't want to go through all that. I literally, honestly, have no idea what the fuck I was doing. I literally just hit button and it worked. And you know what? Sometime that work. Um, oh, this is a different... No, this is the same camp. I don't know why I got discovered again. Oh, no, it is a different camp. That's the one I was at. Oh, wow. That, uh, that was quite the ways away. But, uh, now we go back to him with the scroll. Okay, hello, old man. We're back. Watch out below! Imagine if I just Goomba stomped him and he died. I'll know your lost I inscribed the lexicon. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. I have no fucking Something clue what this man is saying. Anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. No it fucking will drink way. The fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. What the fuck? The Prince of Knowledge and Scrying and the Riddle Unsolvable. I don't really care about... No, thank you. I literally have to go out and kill people? Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls. 
But their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of the divinity. Okay, calm down, game. You were thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Who's your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown. Oh, that guy that literally swore. just asked me to join him, yeah. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asked surprise to work his will. A few murders. Some dissent spread, a plague or two. Bro, what the what fuck? I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. This old man is crazier than I but thought. He won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Okay, bro. I'll think about it. You have a good day. I think I can just go back to... Yeah, I just go back here. I'll remember the whole blood sacrifice thing. Probably get that cube open. What the fuck? Speak to Wretched Abyss? Come closer, back. In my presence. This is the same thing that the book is, right? Who are you? I am Hermaeus. Oh, Nora. it's I this fucking guy, the Zoidberg signing motherfucker. A knower of the unknown. You fucking worship this thing? You mortal. Most Impressive. Mm, he thinks my penis is impressive. I just want to point that, ladies. Um, you heard it here first. What do you want from me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will oh. have his usefulness to Maybe me. I don't want to open the box. When that time comes, What's in the box? He shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Um... Can I just walk away? Go <laughs> I can't just walk away. That's funny. Come okay, now I gotta go I through his dialogue again. That's funny, though. Mora. Why can't I skip your I fucking dialogue, sir? Of the okay, finally. I'll never join you, vile demon. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. Can't break my penis, bro. Not evade me forever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that was literally the way out. I, I didn't realize that. I thought this was something extra, but that makes sense. He was blocking my path. Okay. Well, it's time to level up, first of all. Put more into stamina. Uh then. We are going to go ahead and go all the way back to Fort Dawn Guard because we finally got the Elder Scroll. Sup, fuckers, I'm back. Where is this dude at? He upstairs? Well, he seems to be upstairs. Okay. Keep going up. Okay. He's in a separate part of the castle? Or fort? Oh, he was outside this entire time. Oh, he's in the... Is that a greenhouse? How the fuck do I get over there? I have to go all the way around? These are doors, right? Okay. <laughs> Y'all are just hanging out, having a nice, peaceful time. Oh, no, dude. 
I trust His sight's was gone. Successful. Did he always have that? I don't think he always had that on. I brought the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this. Yeah, matter. that's what I thought. Why would that happen? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. That covering are you, of your eyes, are you? Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Just like Matt Murdock. Uh, can anything be done to help no. you? It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? Sounds like a cool weapon. What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Oh. Being blind could be the least of your worries. That's nothing. Don't worry about that. Just Scattered tell me. across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Huh. I just noticed how you're sitting, sir. And that looks very uncomfortable. But I don't think he cares. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract ancestor moths to you. Once enough of the moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark? How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the ancestor glade. An implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest a has this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scroll in order in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay, I got another Elder Scroll Sun. Is it blind for moth priests to go blind? Sadly, yes. It oh, is the got inevitable up. fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. You seem pretty in your latter years. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Huh. How's a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. Yes, I did pick the up on that. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. Moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't <laughs> literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the Moth Priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the Glade, you should be able to hear their song. A soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. Huh. How does that help you? By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. Yeah, and you kind of just went for it when we gave you the scroll. You were just like, all right, let me open up this bitch and check it out. You didn't have no prep or nothing. And how do you eat? Do, do I even stand you a chance? This far, and you found several Elder Scrolls. Whether You're you right. believe it or not, the scrolls have a mind of their own. I didn't know if there were so many, like, find them, they would not lore wise. <laughs> because of this. I strongly believe you were meant to hear the ancestral chorus. Only one way to find out. I thought there was only one Elder Scroll, but I'm 
stupid because it is the Elder Scrolls, right? In the name? Uh, what do you know about him? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls. Though in time, it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. Yes. Uh, what do you guys do it exactly? It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future. And we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world and That seems pretty fucking OP. <laughs> at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. So I wonder how many do they have? Like, how many fucking Elder Scrolls do they have that they're looking at? Because there seems to be a lot more than I thought. It like I said, I only thought there the were one. The Imperial City, so. Among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. And we've got, the what, three of them? Home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Aldmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its Aldmeri Dominion. Glory. I think that was my, uh, my faction in ESO. <laughs> Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. Yes, thank you. Holy shit, he's got a sick ass katana. Okay, cool. Anything I from knew you? Would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Cool. Okay, so what is the next step here? Unseen visions. Find a moth priest knife. Uh, I'm stupid. Let me go to there. Oh, over by Falkreath, eh? Ancestral Glade. I already have it unlocked. We can just go right there, I guess. Who would have thought I... Oh, there's Serena, Serana. So I keep wanting to call her Serena for some reason. Jonathan, Serana. Um, it's funny that we've already been here. What are the odds of that? I believe we discovered this on our way to the top of the mountain to get the paraglider. Oh. Yeah? Why do you have your mouth open? Stop it. It's weird. I'm going to save the game right now, too, because it's been a while since we did it. Okay. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. We haven't even tried anything yet. Will you calm down? Hmm. Looks like I have to go up this way. Go across this tree bridge. Down into the depths we go. These rocks mineable? They look mineable, dude. Everything in this game looks mineable. That is such a cool waterfall. Can I pluck the wings off of these little guys? No. Okay. Big old god ray right in the middle there. Is this gonna hurt me? Yes, sir. Cool Stonehenge. Oh, it's floating. Weird. Okay. Now I need to get up there somehow. Oh. I guess there's several trees that I can get the bark from, but not this one, apparently. Oh, these ones. That makes sense, yeah. Oh. That's weird. It's in my face. Attract the moths? How do I attract you guys? Oh, okay. I got one. 
two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three. Yeah. 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 Four. What? Did that one not count? I can catch it. I can pluck the wings off these motherfuckers. Okay, cool. Look at all these fish. I need you for the museum. I like that the moths <laughs> go underwater with me. Super cool. Um, is there an easy way to get up there? Oh, here's some more moths. Four. Oh, man, they are really doing something to me. I can feel it. Five. Okay. There's six. And now I can't see a goddamn thing. Thank you, bugs. I don't know why there's a potion of assassinations here. Hold on. I think I can do this. Maybe? Never mind, I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. God, I can't see a fucking thing. Are those moths? That's the last one, hopefully, right? Thank God. Now I can stand in the moonlight. And in the column of light and read the Elder Scroll Blood. So let's go here. Elder Scroll Blood. Okay. Got to read it twice. Three times the charm. Excellent. Four times? Is that really necessary? No. Something's happened to my vision, though. I don't know what the hell's going on. These moths be cuckoo crazy. This is taking a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, now where the fuck did she go? Serana. Did she not come in here? Why didn't she? What? There. What the hell? Comes for you now. Uh. This won't end well for you. They're just <laughs> beating up this woman. How do I get in there? Let me show you how mortal. Um. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a problem. I think she's got him though. The endless sleep comes for us all. One of them turned into a fucking werewolf. How did that increase my light armor? How do I get out of here? Okay, are you gonna talk to me now? Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Uh, felt strange. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. And it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scroll... The scrolls gave me its exact location. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Okay, cool. <laughs> it just lets that in. I'm ready if you are. Okay, cool. Hello. Oops, didn't mean to take that. A lot of bullshit here. Oh, I need that danger heart. Or wait, no I don't. Not anymore, now that I got the... The, uh... Penis poker. Good old penis poker. Um... Okay. Well, that was weird. And, uh... Felt... A little wishy-washy, but... Okay. Now, where the hell is this cave? Oops, I hit the wrong button. Okay, Dario's bow. 
Okay, it's right next to these ruins over here. It's very close to the castle, which is hilarious to think about. He was so close yet so far. Okay. Oh, this was where I... Yeah, found that, uh, that one lady that we needed our help. Well, she couldn't find her bag full of stuff that was literally down by the river. And here's this cave. We were so close to it, actually. That's hilarious. Inside we go. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just gonna save the game until, uh, until. What do I mean until? Um, yeah, because I do not want to do all that moth crap again. All right. Where are we looking? Looks like it's just down here. Oh, hello. Easy. Hmm. This looks like a hidden wall that we'll probably come back to later. Neato. Ooh, an excavation site. This is a new one. Falmer excavation site. I haven't seen this before. One fragment, two fragment. Earned a perk point. Cool. Neat. Now is this... Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Dead eye captain. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Well... He's fine. <laughs> he is unfazed. Holy shit! There's so many spiders! Where is this river taking me? Okay. Well... That explains... Why I didn't know where to go. Gotta kill a bunch of spiders. Jesus Christ. These things are disgusting, dude. Like, when this game came out and I thought this was, like, the pinnacle of graphics, these spiders pissed me off. I was just like, ugh, gross, dude. They're so nasty looking. That's also how I felt about the, the fire ants in Fallout 3. Oh, I hated those fire ants, dude. They were so nasty. I didn't even want to fuck with them. I only took them out with a sniper. I was, <laughs> I was so fucking grossed out by it. Hey, it looks like someone was almost there. Okay. Well, there's another secret wall, it looks like. Why would anyone want to set up camp here? That's a good question, ma'am. I don't know. Whoop. Don't trigger that. Jonathan. <laughs> I just love turning around and seeing him trip. That was fucked up of me. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I should have said something. Oh, I thought that was a dead thing. Okay, hello. There's something over there. Is that a troll? Sure was. I don't even need to go that way. Are you dead? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Hey, there's people up ahead. Do any of you happen to be high elves? You have nothing to fear here. What's that? I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. 
This cave is a temple to Oriel? Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves? You're Falmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Imagine you know why we're of here. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Oh god, come on, bruh. What do you want? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Kill your brother? The why? between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. What exactly did they do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. Didn't you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. You don't even know if he's alive. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Have you tried getting into the inner sanctum? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Way Shrine? Yes. Let me show you. Okay. Neat. Oh, hello. So this is snow Incredible. He raised an elevator. Calm down. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temples so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But it sounds like busy work, way, you bitch. I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. How many more are there? There are five in total oh. spread far apart across the chantry. <laughs> These caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the initiate's ewer. So I need to fill this at each way shrine? Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, Wanna I suggest thin. you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Okay, cool. Survive. Darkfall Passage. Well, that looks ominous as hell. And I think I'm going to call it there for today. Because Jesus Christ, do we have a long way ahead of us still to get the bow. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll definitely be killing this guy's brother, hopefully. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody.
and welcome back to the adventures of Tarty Penis and Juanathan and Serana and Cat Vegetable and etc. 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 Um, so last time we finally got to read the Elder Scrolls fun stuff, and now we are going to kill this man's brother in order to find Arya's bowl. <laughs> her bow. Is it a dude or a boy? Uh, is it a dude or a boy? <laughs> Whatever. I'm going in. Oh my god. What a scuffed entrance. Okay, we gotta take this bucket of water that to all these different wasn't places. As unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. Huh. Interesting. Oh, goodbye. That was cute. Hello. Aww. Well, that's not good. Hello, sir. Come on, keep attacking. Boom, got him. Not very impressive, Lamal. Get fucked on. Get fucked on? Oh man, my fucking speech today is just all over the place. I have so much energy and I can't use it to articulate, apparently. I'll take your ears. Okay, so we gotta go kill this guy's brother. I wonder if he's gonna be one of these, like, Falmer, because he said he was kind of, sort of, a Falmer, but a snow elf. I wonder if he, his brother, who's been corrupted, is gonna be one of these guys. Fuck you, dude. I am unstoppable now. Falmer Mace. Harvest blood? Oh, that's right. I do have to do that. I wanted to... Yeah, I don't have that mace. Cool. Nope. Yo, you shoot a fucking laser beam, lady? That was sick. Damn, she's like a hound dog. She's smelling these dudes out from miles. All right. Well, there's clearly a trap that was triggered. Ho oh, ho! Bastard! Oh, got your legs! Well, now. Oh, my doggy's barking. What you barking about, doggy? Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was a chain to pull. I'm so stupid. Wait, activate rope release? Sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Me. Uh, my bad, girl. Yikes. Strength of potion. Potion of strength. What the fuck am I saying? What? I don't even know what that is. Aw, oh, fuck. Are these gonna hatch? I'm gonna make sure they don't. Pathetic mortal. Okay, sorry. I like that Wanathan can't get mad at me. That's such a nice change of pace. And I fucked that shot. Got that one pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what tripped him, but that looked hilarious. <laughs> okay, I think we just need to go over here. Holy shit, is that... Oh, never mind. Oof, 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 oof. That hurt. You're dead. You're not getting the best of me. Where what the fuck is attacking me? <laughs> Stay just in my peripheral vision. Jesus Christ. Does this guy have anything cool on him? Soul gem. And 20 arrows. Not by it. Do I keep going into the waterfall? Well, there's a secret entrance, it seems. I just keep going? Yep, yeah, this seems like the way. Hello. No, let me poke you. Ow. Okay, I got him at least. Oh, there's a farmer excavation site that I can't use in combat. 
Who else is here? Hello? Okay, I think they killed him, maybe? Nope. Seems like they're still fighting it. Oh well. Moving along. Where exactly is the map marker for this? Also, do I have a local map? I do. Okay, let me see if this is... Yeah, it just says survive the passage. Which I'm doing pretty well at right now. Maybe? Oh, hello. Oh, they're both there. Fuck you, kid. Get bullied. And then this other dude. Ow. Oh! Oh, impaled. Sick as fuck. I don't really care about what they have on them. I'm literally not looking for anything right now, so... I think with that mace, I've pretty much got all the farmer stuff, it seems. So I could be lying to myself. Hello? You're fine. Oh, warmonger. Holy shit, you hurt, boy. Holy shit, you actually hurt quite a bit. Come on, pull out your fucking sword, dude. Okay, he's dead. And these two got stuck, luckily. Okay. Want to just go in there and challenge them? I will. Fuck you, kids. Hell yeah. Okay, you probably had some good shit on you, huh? The helmet. I haven't seen that before. Well, cool, but that was it. Can I use this excavation site now? I can. I should go back and use that other one then. Maybe we'll find something special. I wonder if these fragments are anything different from the other fragments. Like if there's a difference between the... Oh, um... The Dwemer sites and the Falmer sites. I would assume so because of that but also they could just be like an aesthetic to fit the current place that you find it in not necessarily what you're gonna find there you know which i mean is fine that would suck if i really had to go and excavate like all these other places just to get the one thing i needed kind of thing once I start actually giving a shit about that. Hey, increase the level 27, too. And I believe I can just jump. Nope. Can't jump over the... It looks like Star Metal from New World. If that makes sense to anyone who's played that. <laughs> but it super does. And I think we might be done. I think that was the big bad... There's a cool waterfall bridge. Oh, that's sick. I love that. That's less sick. I don't love that. Lamau. You fucked. What? <laughs> it just tripped. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is a very elaborate trap for... Come on, bring out your spear. Is there another one attacking me? It was. I'm at half health, holy fuck. Oh my god, I'm about to die. You get him! Get him, girl! Get him, girl! I'm cheering you on, look! Give me an S. 
Give me an E. Give me an R. Give me a dead bug. Jesus Christ. And she tripped the last tripwire. That's fine. Oh, okay. I tripped the last tripwire. Last tripwire trip me. Got it? Okay. What is... I don't think there's a point to this place. Uh, maybe it's over here more. Another tripwire. Ooh. Hell yeah. Big skeleton should have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> Shut up. Is there anything else to this cave? Hello? More dead guy? Elven sword that I don't have? Cool. It's fair. Be careful here. Whatever's on the other side of this, Palmer wanted to keep it there. Yeah, okay. Let me give a little savey save. A little drinky drink. And then let's start pulling levers, bro. Well, I did good. Hello, bear. Or saber cat. What the hell was that? Veil saber cat. Okay. Looks like there's no more Falmer. Poison bloom. Weird. Oh, that was slowly killing me. I didn't even notice. Anything else in this cave? It's a big fucking cave. I like the aesthetic, though. This is much better than most of the caves in Skyrim. Don't know what that is. I'll probably need it at some point. Probably not, though. We're just making our way around, eh? Do you run faster without your stuff equipped? I think you do. Oh, hello. Easy peasy. Veiled deer, eh? That's weird. Are we in the veil? Per se? I don't, uh... Don't know exactly. He died eating those poison plants. Retard. Is that Wanathan? No, it's not. Hello, sir. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Illumination. Illumination, Are you like the minions? To honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Sure am, bud. Then behold that vessel be in my butt. My child, may it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Hello. You got blood in your boob. Just thought you should know. All right, another portal. Uh, did I do the first one? Did he give it to me filled already? It says I have to... Oh, son of a bitch. Did I not do the first one? It's gonna suck. Portal to Forgotten Veil. Okay, door number two. Let's hope the uh, first one was already done. Now, this has stuff to discover. Where am I on the world map? Okay, so I do have four left to go. So there were six in total, so he did give me the first one. That's fair. Thank God. Okay, we are quite a ways away from killing his brother then, I guess. But these caves can be big and winding, it seems. This one's got a little bit of a ice theme to it, I guess. Oh, uh, this place is... Is this Skyrim? No, this is the Forgotten Veil, it says. Okay, well, is this like a whole other area? This is incredible. It's like a whole other world. 
Come on. The bow has to be in this valley somewhere. Okay, yeah. She confirmed my suspicions. It is, in fact... I have been isekai'd. Shut up, big kitty. Big kitty. I want to excavate this site. Still farmer. Mm. Get to drink my monster while he's doing this. 28 now. Does it every one give me a level? That'd be insane. I don't know which one's closer. Hold on. It seems like these two are equal distance, but this one's closer to this one, so I'll do this one first. Put a custom anchor behind it so that I can see. And it's lying to me. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> uh, actually... I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Can I wait and see if it becomes daytime here? that would be incredibly helpful that is much better I guess it is just in this valley I guess we don't have a choice of what to kill first or, I mean I mean <laughs> not kill what we get to discover first I don't know why I said kill but yeah this place is cool Got those white trees. Is this anything? This is a cave with Falmer outside of it. No, no, no. Don't draw your bow. No, no, no. Imp stool. No, thank you. I don't think I'll take that. Forgotten Veil Cave? Let's check it out. See if it's actually something that has to do with the quest. Or is it just a random cave that we can explore? Weird. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Holy shit. Did you just summon your own cat? That's sick, dude. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Oh, help me, Wanathan! Oh, I'm running around. You can't touch this. Okay, you touched it. Okay, now I can fight again. Okay, one down. Boy, these things fucking suck, huh? Okay. Jesus Christ. Think There's another one? I didn't see another one. I also don't see another way forward. Unless it was back here. Like in here. This seems like a... No. So is this cave just literally nothing? It looks like there's more to it right here. But I don't see a way forward. Oh. Ah, I peek ya. Maybe this... Oh, maybe now that I've cleared this out, I will come back here later. Maybe this is the exit for some... One of the other caves. Okay. Well, didn't really help with that. I guess I am kind of stuck in this valley. So where to next? Another excavation site, you don't say. Damn, I don't think I've had this many in an episode before. Is this my third one? Fourth one? Level 29 now. Hot diggity damn. Well. 
maybe I can go this way now? Let me look at the map. It looks like I can. So I guess this is where we're going. Maybe they will exit out to that cave again. It'd be neat, because I already cleared it out. And I don't want to do so again. Oh! Hey, it's just here. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Sight. Of Sight, huh? Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it speed Water. your journey to the inner <laughs> sanctum. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad we don't have to go into a freaking... And do a whole other, like, area to do this. It's neat that it's just here. Unless... Did one of these walls come down? Or... Ah, okay. Okay. Drew some water. Darkfall Passage. So this takes me back to... Where I need to go when I'm done. I'm assuming they all do that. If that is the case. And that means that the rest of them are just in this valley. Which is totally fine with me. I hope I don't have to kill a bunch of stuff again. Because so I've killed plenty. Oh, that poor fool. Oh, this poor fool. Fuck you, kid. Fuck you and your kids. Appa! <laughs> you fucked. Holy shit. You wrecked, kid. Yeah. I don't like the spiders either. Well, this looks like a cave next to a thing. So we're probably gonna have to go here anyway. Oh, there's another shrine. Perfect. Hello, I'm here for the water. The way shrine of learning, initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Oh, I'm gonna fill my vessel so fucking hard, dude. You have no Ariel, idea. Ariel, bless you, child, for you are a step closer to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom. Everlasting wisdom. You got it. Now, which one of these doors is gonna be open? Probably this one, I'm assuming. Yeah. Got the base of water. And that also goes back to Darkfall Passage. Cool. So it is, in fact, in here. I'm assuming these caves might be nothing, actually. Oh, actually, can I dive deeper in here? Just so I don't have to wash my penis? Did that wash my penis? Recently washed. Cool, cool, cool. Forgot I actually swim a lot faster than I run, so. Aha. Uh, 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 uh. uh -huh. Those look like stairs that I maybe possibly can interact with. Unless I get stuck under the fucking water here. Let's see if I can go up these stairs. Looks like I should be able to. And yep, made it up here pretty easily. Which is good. Oh, there's a stone here that I can interact with. There's the last one. Oh no, I, did I fuck this? I don't think I fucked it too hard. Hold on. Yeah, I might have to go around to get to that over there. And now I'm out of stamina. Where? Man, this game just keeps on giving, huh? I love it. Definitely love all the people behind it, though. <laughs> more, more so than the actual you Bethesda. You arrived at the Way Shrine of Resolution. Resolution. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill All hail your 1920 by 1080. Yes. 
Then go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ariel strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the inner sanctum. Yes. Okay, and now I have to go into that cave over there. It seems. All right, four to five. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look, I can go to the other portals. That's cool. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. It sounds about right. Bitch, get out of my way. Oh my God. Geometry here is outrageous. We. So is that the cave there? No, but that looks like mineable rock, doesn't it? Doesn't that look mineable? It is moonstone ore. Moonstone ore. Jesus. Cool. Got some there. Got some here. Yep. Okay. Don't know when I'll need that though. Oops, wrong button. Meant to sprint. Is there anything over here? Looks like I should be able to go that way, but... Oh, what the fuck? Can I save mid-combat? I sure can. Okay. Time to cower. Hide and cower. Holy shit. Okay. Well, dragon fight. These guys are pretty tough. Oh, does my fucking thing not have a charge? It doesn't. God damn it. The lesser. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Well... Oh, I'm alive again. Oh, I'm a skeleton. <laughs> Serana just casually using her necromancy on me. I'm gonna actually despawn them now that I've... Oh, God. Okay, these guys are super tough. Am I in combat still? No, guess not. Oh, no, I am. Yep. Oh, no! No! Dead. Okay, and this time we're gonna run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm a lizard man. Gonna run, come on. Use your stamina, use everything you got. We are in super danger here, bud. Hopefully this cave is behind this waterfall. Maybe I can go under the ice for protection. Ho ho! How do you like that, motherfucker? Oh, that's so smart of me. Oh, I'm such a fucking genius. I don't know if this is the waterfall. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay, so this looks to be the waterfall. Is there anything to be done over here? No, there's not. Okay, then we're going back down. How the fuck is he dying? <gasps> no, can I fucking do that? Can I just dip out, hit him with the fucking... Ooh, I don't know. This is dangerous, bro. even see the fucker. Oh, hello. Hey, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you unlock on, please? Damn it. How did he get me? Son of a bitch.
Okay, I hit the shit out of him. So he's gonna be dying pretty fucking fast. Oh, the fire damage stops when he goes in the water. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. both dead. Holy shit. Guys, not gonna lie to you. That was literally the worst thing I've ever done in this game. That was so fucking bullshit. I had no cover out here. I literally had to go into the water and dip out just to fucking fight them. And a majority of them, I literally just sat in the water, I straight up opened a book and started reading, like, <laughs> that was so fucking bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's stash our supplies here. So that we can move around without all these dragon bones weighing us down. Stash materials. I'm still unable to run. Crap. I don't need this crossbow. I think that's very obvious because I'm never getting rid of this fucking bow. I don't need these. I need that. Is that enough for me to move? It is. Okay. Holy shit. What the actual fuck was I doing? I have to get over there somehow. But this does not help me. So it says custom destination, but I didn't do that. It says I have to go over here somewhere. Maybe it's up there? I have no idea, dude. I'm so fucking, like, drained of energy from that. That was so insane. But god, what a cool concept. Just fucking two dragons just dipping and diving out of the water. I could not fucking run away to save my life. But. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that. Holy shit. What a cool boss fight idea. That Deadly Dragons mod just makes that fucking impossible. Holy shit. I cannot believe this. Neither can you. You've been dead half the time. Um, is this where I need to go? No, this is the complete opposite of where I need to go, right? I can't even... I can't even move the fucking thing around anymore. Holy shit. Well, it says that way. I don't think it's that way. Okay. Why did this just change all of a sudden? The map just fucking changed on a whim. Let me go to the world map. Yeah, it says it's all the way over there. Forgotten Vale Cave. It says it's the opposite of those. So if I put this place marker. Okay, that's the way I need to go. That That is the way I need to go. So there's a cave somewhere that I'm trying to get to that I'm hoping is lower than not at all. Oh, maybe this is it. Maybe I can go up here. Oh, there's another excavation site. Is there a way up a mountain from here? Looks like it. Don't think it is, though. Yeah, it looks like there is a small path up here. 
Okay. Well, maybe if I follow this. Got the nice Aurora Borealis. Is this the cave? No, this can't be. That's a huge valley. Hopefully the cave's in here somewhere. There's a bridge of ice. Which is a good sign that there's actual formations. Okay. We got people. Y'all are gonna be a piece of fucking cake compared to what I just dealt with, so fuck off. Okay, you just absorb my fucking blast. I'll take your legs. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, finally. Glacial crevice. I think that's what it said. Okay. Huh. Troll. I don't need your shit right now, boy. That's not even a troll. It's a growl. That's all good. Don't you dare shoot me with that bow. Put it away. That's what I thought. Bitches. So I wonder if this cave exits to where I need to go. That would make sense. But who am I to say Skyrim makes sense? Hello, everyone. Excuse you. Bitch. Got your legs, Lamau. You don't have anything I need, right? Yeah. This seems to be an exit. Probably ain't, though. Nope. There's a door. And there's a little... Trap a trap. Ooh, nice. Very, very cool. Hello, sir. Here to die. Shadow Master. That sounds cool as fuck. Too bad you're a total bitch. And it killed me. Okay. Now that that's taken care of. Let's see where this place leads. Because Jesus. Do I want to just gale this guy and get it over with? That's a dead man. Anyone else want to fight me? Ooh, this looks dangerous. Yes, excuse me. I'm actually going to save the game. Okay. Huh. Doesn't seem to be a whole heck of a lot here. Just like a fortress of these dudes. Anyone home? No? Up we go. Jesus Christ. How many times have I said that this episode? <laughs> okay. This looks like an exit, maybe? Nope. More people. Oh my god, that went right through his fucking legs. That was insane. What a shot. Holy shit, there's so many people. Stealth archer time. Go right there. Damn. I can't even tell where that's hitting. Oh well. That should hit him. Oh, gotcha. Oh shit, hello. Oh my fucking god. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we can talk about this. Oh, I'm gonna run into that trap. All right, holy shit. Up to 83 now. 
You could just stand there, sir. That would be incredibly cool of you. I think that's enough. He'll be dead by the time I get over there. I know there was a chest back there, but I honestly don't care at this point. <laughs> I'm looking for the exit, and I hope this wasn't a huge waste of time. But I'm hoping, with all this vertical movement, that we're exiting on the top of the mountain where the next shrine is going to be. That would make sense to me. Forgotten Veil. Cool. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, we are on top of a mountain, it looks like. Are we any closer to my destination? Looks like it. Boy, howdy looks like it. Let's go, dude. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. You don't see me. Cool, I'm going up top just so I can have a vantage point above these guys. That works. I Holy shit, who the fuck is that guy? Lore master, eh? I'll come dead to you. Don't worry about it, bud. You're all good. I have that axe. Don't say I don't. <laughs> I've killed so many people with that fucking weapon. Oh, they're there. Hey, and Saran and Wanathan will caught up. Cool. Hopefully. Hopefully we are almost done. Looks like it. Alchemy station. There's this dude that I killed. Ooh, this is a neat little pathway winding down and around. Oh, hello. Oh, I can attack there and get you both, huh? Okay. Fuck you. There's a big chest here. But not stuff I need. Sounds like there's a beehive nearby. Okay. Does this lead to the thingy? Jesus Christ, there's so much Falmer. They really had a whole fort here, man. Insanity. Up we go. Oh, fuck me. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Fuck. <laughs> okay, here we are back at the cave. I think this is the one that killed us, right? So there should be a tripwire right at the top here. Yep, there it is. Now I gotta wait for all these boulders to roll down. It's fuck if I'm not getting in their way. Okay, that seems to be it. Oh, hello. You're a tough one, aren't you? Unless you can't hit me. Dumbass. Get fucked. Not a single fucking hit. All right. Are we almost there? Are we there yet, Dad? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yes, dude. Hello, you sir. You found the Way Shrine of Radiance Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes, sir. I got a bucket and a mop. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. All right. Finally getting the last one here. As soon as it raises up, we go in and get the water. There's no water in this one. Okay, so gain entry to the inner sanction. So... 
Do I just go back to Darkfall now? Let me see here. No, I don't. Interesting. It's right here, actually. Wow, okay. This is indeed the Inner Sanction. Sanctum. Sanction. <laughs> well, that's where I'm going to call it there, because... Holy shit. Yeah, that's what we're here for, Serana. Are you not listening this entire fucking time to those dragons really take it out of you? Because they really took it out of me. <laughs> Next time we're going to go in there and we're going to kill his brother. Promise. <laughs> Next time there won't be a fucking... <laughs> Hour and a half dragon fight, I promise. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and yada 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 yada. Uh, last time we got all the shrines and we are about to enter the inner sanctum and finally get, hopefully, finally get Ariel's bowl. bowl. I don't know why I keep saying bowl. Thinking of my dog carrying his bowl around. What's that down there? Oh, that's the place we came from. Cool. But all right, let's head in. We still haven't killed that man's brother, so. This is a statue of Ariel, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. Yeah, but you know what else is here? Some motherfucking excavation sites. Damn, how many you gonna get there, son? Okay. And harvest that, too. I, I didn't notice that on any of the other ones. I mean, just the one that was in the dragon fight. That dragon fight fucking sucked. Oh, that's where we pour the water. Okay. Locate the mans. It says require key. Cannot pick open. But I poured the water in. Oh. Oh, indeed. There it goes. Okay. I had to wait for the water to travel through these little pipes, it seems. There we go. Now we enter the inner sanctum. Okay. Hello, statue. Frost resistance didn't do you very much. Hello, sir. Everything's frozen. What potion do you have? They're frozen in the ice. Scroll of blizzard. Probably shouldn't use that. Okay. They're all coming to... I'll take that just to... Holy shit, there's so many people. It's a good thing I got fire weapons. Dumbass. Ow. Anyone else? You guys want to go? I will fuck you up. Stay on your no, Ow. Okay. Comes for you okay. Where the fuck do these things keep coming from? No one hides from the dead. Okay. Is that everyone? Okay. Ooh, Jade Dragon. Yo. Cool. Red Mountain Flower. I'll take all this shit. Oh, what the fuck just happened to me? Yeah. uh oh Okay, I got sent to the front. I don't know why. Activate shrine. 10% effective with missile weapons. Yeah, no thank you. So what the hell do we do here? Does it just open? Oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like a big elaborate thing. I didn't think it was just gonna open. Jesus Christ. I don't know why that scared me. It's like uh, when I take something from them, they come to life, which is fine. 
Wall of Flames. Fuck you. Let's see what that Wall of Flames does. Obviously, it it conjures a wall of flame, maybe. Possibly. Oh, I still have Conjure Wraith Man. Or Wrath Man. That's cool. Uh, creates a wall of fire on the ground that does 81 fire damage per second. Targets on fire take extra damage. Cool. This guy was having a good time. Iron Flesh. That's the new, uh... Holy shit. Ice Spikes? Fuck you. You didn't scare me this time. I was gonna say that's the new Viagra. Scroll of Iron Skin or whatever the fuck it said. What do you have? Necklace of Health? Yeah, you're gonna need that. Haha. <laughs> I love that they break apart into fucking pieces. That's hilarious. What do you have? An axe? I won't take that from you. Oh, a treasure chest, eh? Hello. Look at all the little nifty neats. Damn, there are a lot of people in here for such an abandoned fucking place. Hey, you guys suck. What's this? Minor water breathing? I knew all of them were gonna... Oh shit, they straight up killed me. God damn! Okay, we back. We're gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna save it, actually. Well, I don't have to real do that all again. Because I... kind of suck. Why do I have infinite magic? Did I hit Z? I didn't even mean to. God damn it. Hello? Oh. Hey, your skeleton's showing. <laughs> Stupid. Is it over here? In this giant ice wall? It seems to be. Seems there's a- oh, a chap boy. Well. Nice and chilly. More frozen dudes. Oh, I guess that's his brother. And this is going to be a lot of ads he's going to add to this fight. Well. <laughs> Hello, sir. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? Yes. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which I'm sorry to say means behind your back even? Is at an end. <laughs> yep. Knew it. Wow, they're actually brittle. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, 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 ow. One's dead. Another dead. I knew there was going to be a ton of ads in this fight. What is this? Oh, you summon that. That's right. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's pulling down the ceiling. I watched out. Whoa. Who dares disturb? Oh, no. uh, uh, you can never truly stop. 
Holy shit, that whipped me around quick. This has gone on Can I pick this up? Enough. No. Your life ends here. For Show Bully this man! Bully this boss! Hell yeah. Oh my god. Aw, oh, damn it. I wasn't watching my health. Fuck me. Your life ends. Who's there? Damn, that was so fast. I've never killed that guy so fast. Fuck yeah, we can. Holy shit. Is that the night sky? Or is that like a... Another realm. Hey, look, another, uh... Shrine. Sup, fucker? Enough, Bertha. Give us the bow. How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd oh. have my revenge, no matter what the cost. Cool. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. Why didn't she use your own blood? blood? Of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. Okay. The blood of a pure vampire. A oh, pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. We were waiting all this time for someone with my blood <laughs> to come Holy along. shit. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Oh, New shit. No. Only this man. Only this man. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Lamau. Oh, and he's got a bunch of shit on him that I need. Andy leveled me up. Let's go, dude. You got anything to say? You seem kind of dumbfounded. <laughs> okay. Hey, we killed your brother. So the deed has been done. Yep, the restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed actually weren't to blame. What? what are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. 
deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Uh... Cool. Touching the sky completed. So, does that only fire elven bows? Ar uh, arrows? And <laughs> fire. Uh, 11 points of sun damage. Undead targets take triple damage, fully drawing the bow channels. The sun's power dealing an extra 100 damage of the sun. That's cool. Damn, so it actually does 127 when this bow does 15? Yikes. Neat. It's. Uh, yeah, I use a little shard. Sorry about that. So, we go back to. Is it the cave? I think it is the cave. I think we go back to this cave and then we just exit outwards. Or maybe we can go this way with this. Maybe this leads back to... Aha! A chain to pull! Aha! I remember now. Was it up here? I don't remember. Let's actually level up real quick. Put that in the stamina. And hey! We're level 40, baby! Let's go. So actually, let me... Oops, let me check the map here. Am I going the right way? Where the fuck even am I? Current location. Oh, there I am. Shit, I couldn't even see it. So yeah, it looks like we go back this way. And maybe... How do we go up? Did we go down? I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, there's another. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. Okay, hello? There's a... There's a... Uh... Aha, so it is this way, it looks like. Now... Uh, journal entry. Oh, I just have to speak to Serana. Son of a bitch. Well. It'd probably be faster for me to just... Fast travel out and then talk to her then. Okay, well hopefully I don't need to do anything else in there. Serana? It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, <laughs> it's beautiful. That's funny. What do we do now? I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we All don't, right. he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. Uh, if we do, he'll have to die. He'll probably have to die, about dude. This for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. And let's face if him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm yep. hoping he'll lend us a sword or two. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So let me actually save the game now that I've done all this. And then we will go back and speak with the man. Uh, not what I wanted. World map. Here we go. All the way out there. Alrighty, guys. Daddy's home. He's got the bow and the 
goth GF and the, bow. the ghost, you know. You have Oriel's bow. I do. I've heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. It's just an elven bow. I don't think it's all that special. We need your help, though. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I trust her to do the right thing. I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let Indeed. me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. Oh, they running. Okay, I was about to say, where the fuck is everybody? There's only five people, six people, seven people, Sorry. eight people. <laughs> Someone just dropped their spear. Okay. For too long, we've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Harkon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fight. What a fucking speech. This I'm pumped. Like, hey, he's pumped too. Hell yeah. This is it. Between the eyes for me. No All right. It's time we take the fight to their door. Hell yeah, it is. Things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volcahar. You got it. So you think he's just crazy? Watch your back. I didn't say that. I wonder. Okay, you're just gonna sprint there on your own. Everybody else? Oh, everybody else is just getting ready and then. I suppose we're all a little crazy to be here, right? Okay. Well, let's go, baby. I'm so down. Let's see now. Can we. Do we fast travel to the thing? Okay, I guess we do. Because I would have thought we'd. Uh, fast travel to the boat on the other side of the lake, but we're just going straight there. Cool. Okay, sounds like everyone's actually here. Or, well, what the fuck is that? Oh, they have a troll? Armored troll? Yo, that's sick. Okay, y'all ready? We're done with. Where'd you come from? What? Give up while you still can. Who the what? Enthralled ferryman. Okay. Is someone there? Yo. Okay. This is a whole fucking fight and a half, huh? Maybe don't use the fireball. Did he already die? Who died? He died. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> that I don't know if that was my fault but I'm gonna strip him for all he's worth and now I'm over encumbered so let's wait for the fucking fight to stop or actually no we're not gonna wait we're just gonna staff supplies stash materials still too much to run Good on you guys. Glad, glad we could, uh, get through this together. I'm going to go to gyms. This is all the stuff that I still haven't put away and I'll be right back. Okay. That should be good. Let's get back to the big fight now. Actually, I want to kind of loot these guys for what they are worth. Is there anything good in here? Ring of the Beast. While wearing this ring, you receive 100%, 100 extra health, and your unarmed attacks will do additional 20 damage as well as absorb 20 points of stamina. That's fucking cool. Anything here that I need, though? 
Oops. Guess I took all. Yeah, I took all. Okay. Well, shit. Ain't a lot of people left to fucking fight these vampires, eh? Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I, uh... She had a fishing rod on her? Why? <laughs> Nordic sword I got. Vampire stuff. Okay. Well, who the fuck is left? I don't know. But let's get ready to kick some ass anyway. I can't believe I already killed so many of those fucking people. You would have thought that that one guy would at least be invincible. The head of the Dawn Guard? But, whatever. Mm, maybe not do that. Hello? Okay, can you fucking get the dog, goddammit? Fuck you, bitch. See, these two are... Or this guy's invincible. I don't know why the first guy wasn't. Oh, he is! Isran! What the fuck? I thought you died, bro! Okay. I guess there was another guy with an I name that I just didn't know. Shrine to Moloch Ball. Okay. No, not the armor troll! Come on, bruh. I don't have a Nordic mace. I do now. For the Dawn Guard. For Skyrim. Yes, let's get it. Even though I haven't done really anything this entire fight. <laughs> except Solana. kill our own people. <laughs> I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know. I'm gonna actually equip that bow. Uh, to the favorites. How do I favorite that? There Why we go. We of course I do. You do. Let's actually pull it out now. Point me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic being. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. I can't believe she's defending me so hard. With the venom of your mother's influence. We barely know each other. <laughs> How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. Me? Oh, he's coming. Hello. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. Indeed. I knew it was only a matter of time before she's she head over heels for my ass. Hatred in her heart. Hatred born of your neglect. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Your kind is a blight on this world. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens? Not too many choices in these conversations. Is Valerica next? Is Serana? I would never harm Serana. She's too important to me. I'm only here to kill you. This is about more than just killing vampires. I'll never hurt her. She's my queen. Then my daughter is truly lost. She died the moment she accepted a mortal into her life. Enough of this. Yes, quite. I'm growing Serana love that to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cool. <laughs> Very well. Imagine. You leave me no choice. Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? What the hell even just happened? Bro, run, penis! What is going on, dude? You're dead, dude. Stop running. Oh, do I have to listen to that whole fucking conversation again? Oh, Jesus. Damn it! 
I just fucked myself. How the fuck is he already back up to full fucking health? I actually physically can't beat this man. He regenerates health so fucking fast. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. What? Come on, dude. What the fuck? He just fucking bombarded me. I don't think I can do this. Okay, well, you see that we are back <laughs> at the beginning of the fight, pretty much. Um, I cannot beat this man. I straight up and having a tough time. I tried using every arsenal in my fucking book. I tried the spear. I tried the bow. I tried the other bow. I tried a bunch of shit. And I cannot out DPS his healing. He can just regenerate so much health and he fucking just bombards me with spells. Jesus Christ, this sucks. So we're gonna have to come back after leveling up a bit. Seems like everything's taken care of here. So we're gonna go do something else. I'm gonna call it the episode there for today, but we've got to go do some leveling up before we can fight this fucking guy. It is insane. I'll probably have a compilation of all my deaths and bullshit that this guy is fucking pissing me off. But yeah, we're going to have to go do something else for a bit. And for that, I think I'm going to go back to the Dragonborn Gallery and start putting shit away, start putting shit up. But yeah, he's level 80 and I'm literally half that. Why is there a gate here now? Is there always a gate here? I don't remember ever closing it. Anyway, but yeah, he's level 80. I can't out DPS his healing and he fucking... Why is there a red dot on my screen? Anyway, he's just impossible at the moment and nothing fucking hurts him and I can't use the fire that I usually use to cheese bosses because every time he teleports it fucking goes off it turns off him so I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna freaking I'm gonna uh, put everything up get everything settled but yeah super sucks that we can't uh, that we have to end off on that because that was just such a wet fart <laughs> And, uh, but they can't all be bangers. Oh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan and Serana. There she is. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. So last episode was <laughs> a bit disheartening. I'll be real with you. And I feel bad, honestly, but we cannot... We just can't, we can't do anything. So for now, we're going to take a step back. We're going to look in our journal. We're just going to do some, some cool, fun, you know, little quests. We're going to take it easy, take it slow. Nothing world shattering prophecy BS. Just, just, uh, you know, just looking for, looking for some stuff. Immaculate Dwarven helmet for her. Is this something that's marked on the map it is so it's in the forgotten ruins let's do this first thing on the bottom of our list you know let's try it we'll fast travel to oh no that's a forsworn camp actually this will probably be quicker oh why am i underwater it sounded like that was weird so where is our yeah, just rocks. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's over there. 
it's past the mine here, which doesn't seem possible. We might have to go all the way around this mountain. This is a quaint little, little town outside this mine, huh? And I don't think I can scale this. It looks too steep, but we shall try. Nope. I've already fucked it. Let's see here. Oh, we can kind of. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the edge that I was looking for. Okay, well, let's go around, shall we? I want to just kind of take it slow this episode. Nothing... Nothing too important. Just want to... Just want to clear out my journal a bit without having all the freaking quest markers everywhere. So is this it? This looks like it. This does indeed look like the way. There's a cave up ahead. And I don't know what that symbol is, I'll be honest. There is the ruins marker. But I don't know if it's further up. Seems to be further up or around. So let's keep going around this mountain. Oh, there's a mud crab. Hello, sir. Oh, he almost got me. Oh. Oh, -ho. take your crab meat. All right. I'll see you when I get there. Oh, Outlander. Oh. By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Uh, I'm just a traveler. What is this, this place? This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You are not an orc. You are blood kin, so stay out. We only help our own. Okay. Am I dying? Am I dead? Vampires? Holy shit. Ow. Are they vampires? No. Oh, yeah, they are. Jesus Christ, my guy. They're getting bullied by... Something was that Wanathan? Bitch, stop dodge rolling. Jesus. God damn, finally. Okay. Well, that kind of came out of nowhere. Let's see, do I need anything? Not from you. I'll take that just cuz. Oh, the goat. Oh, the goat's alive. Serana's goat? What? You summoned a goat? Whatever. Did I discover that place at least? I did. Maybe I can come back and talk. Well, let me talk to him before I forget what the fuck's going on. They said I can't enter. And the dude is gone. Oh, well. I won't disturb them for now. But if somebody comments on a video saying, yo, that place is actually sick. Then I'll go back and check it out. <laughs> okay, well, this place looks cool. Oh, I broke the animation. Forgotten ruins. So... I think it might be in here. I don't know. Let me just go inside and check. Ah, yes. Okay, it is in here. Forgotten Ruins. Cool. Now, 
I do believe that this quest is just a like random missive quest. I could be wrong. This is a uh, something, huh? Hello? That's close enough. Who are you? Oh, it's this girl. I'm Tardy Penis. I got your letter like fucking ages ago, like literally lifetimes ago. Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down the shaft a few days ago and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could that be doesn't stop you from working though, if huh? Anyone can do it. It's you. Now, are you ready? I didn't come here to help you. Duh. Uh, I have some questions. All right, but please hurry. Who are you? My name's Cassia. My brother and I came to Skyrim from Cyrodiil with the Imperial Legion. But we took a break to explore these ruins. So you're both deserters. We didn't want to get involved in this stupid war in the first place. Okay, calm we down. We came here because we were conscripted. But our unit was That's by fair. the Nords and those forsworn savages. And we saw a chance to get away from the fight <laughs> She's not having it. <laughs> so we took Oh, okay. You get to do that now. Thank you, Serana. <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> Uh, what exactly happened here? Why haven't you gone down there? Why did you send me of all people? Why did you send for me of all people? I was in Markarth looking for help when I heard people talking about you and all Really? I've never even been to Markarth. Skyrim. I figured you'd be interested in exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you are. Huh. Okay, well, I guess that explains it. She just heard our name through the grapevine. She was just like, hey... This penis guy sounds pretty fucking good, so we should, uh, have him do it. What exactly happened here? Well, we here? came here hoping to find something valuable to pay for carriage back to Cyrodiil. Altrius went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. Uh, why haven't you gone down because there? Because he made me promise I'd stay here and wait for him no matter what. And I keep my promises. Well, except as far as the Legion is concerned. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's all the questions I had. So you ready to go now? I'm ready. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go. Okay, well let me just let me give it a try. See if I can dig some stuff up. And I did. I got a couple fragments. Cool, cool. Alrighty, is this a book? Read Dusty Journal. I can't actually take it, funny enough. Is this where I need to go? I don't think so. Is it? Do I just need to jump down there? Dead skeever. Uh, ooh. Okay, well, they went down there, so I guess it's my turn. Enter the Forgotten City. Explore the Forgotten City for a way out. Okay, well. Looks like we got a bit of a situation on our hands. Didn't know this was a one-way trip. I mean, obviously, when I jumped down there, I figured it was a one-way trip, but... Not the thing as a whole. Holy hell. This really is a Forgotten City, huh? Don't like that, none. Don't like that, none. Did the old man's suicide note? Where the hell is the old man's suicide note? It says it's back here. Burnt corpse? No. Another burnt corpse? No. I am actually going to save the game real quick and then take on this automaton. See if I can get a sneak attack. Oh, it's not actually alive. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, that's cool. I don't mind that. 
burnt corpse. Where is this guy's suicide note? That's what I'm looking for right now. Let's actually... Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we don't need these. Okay, here we go. Optional, read the man's suicide note. Custom destination. Let's uh, go back to the world map. Remove that, because that's just annoying. And then where's the man's suicide note? I do not see a note of a man who unalived himself. Oh well, it was an optional objective anyway. There's still some boots here. This place doesn't look abandoned quickly. Interesting. Now it says, oh, there's a skeever. That'll teach you. Yep, sure will. Oh, there's the, just a notice warning. This area is not safe into your own risk. Yarl, eh? Among the dead. Well, we got to go in. Got to squeeze my penis through those door, those slats of wood. All right. Y'all ready? Oh, I didn't like that. And that's why. Well. If I stand on this thing, it opens up for some reason. And then it closes. So I don't rightly know what that is. And this didn't it's just straight up close off the path. It didn't uh, open up another one. Let me check the thing here. Yeah, I think I might have to find another way in. It seems I'll uh, go around to the left here. Maybe there's another way in. Another skeever. This isn't a door. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna just check all these. I'll take the lavender. Check all these doors for something, maybe. Maybe it's around the other side here. Doesn't look like it. Which is unfortunate. Enter Citadel. Um, yeah, we got, we got time. <laughs> We're just looking for her brother. No, no rush, you know? I was in your shoes once. Okay. A lifetime ago. I remember the way the lake house calls to you. Who the fuck is talking? The lake house? I don't even know what lake house you're talking about, bro. Hello? Songs of Skyrim revised. I need that from the museum. Cool. Cabbage. Okay. Just some burnt people. Skooma. Let's go, dude. There's some coins. Some valuables. Okay. I don't know what the hell that creepy voice was. Why did the lights suddenly turn on and there's noises happening? I don't know what the hell's going on, dude. Is it like motion sensitive or lights turn it on? Open that door. And this guy's creeping me it the fuck seems out. Like a simple choice. And yet in the end death was the better option all along. Okay, well I do not want to die. Hello, sir. 
Okay, just checking. Just checking. Doing a little dig tap to check. You know how it be. Okay, this seems to just be like a hotel. Maybe <laughs> like rooms upon rooms. Master chest, eh? Here we fucking go. Rip. Gotcha. Cool. 64. And that was not worth it. Second letter. Okay. Um. Hmm. Imperial bracers. Nothing really of note there. I'm gonna have to check every fucking one of these doors. Oh no, that's... No! <laughs> I didn't want to go to the loading zone. <laughs> Holy shit. Ain't this cool though. Thinking that purple door has something to do with something. But for now, I think we go back into the citadel. Okay. Anything in this door? Just a potion. Okay, moving along. Now this door was already open. This looks like a kitchen almost. Those, oh, those are knives. Thought those were lockpicks. Yeah, I think this was like a hotel or something. Ah. Can you take me high? Oh, hello. Hello, Mal. Hmm. Black robes. Then another unsent letter. Hey, all of these letters that I can read but I can't pick up. I'm fine with that. I got tons of letters already. Let's see here. Uh, Wanathan, your brother's running at me. Who dares disturb me? I hid that key for no. a reason. So make it well. A mistake. Okay. <laughs> good, good fight. Good boss fight. Baths. Cool. Now he said he hit a key. I'm assuming it's somewhere around here. Citizen arrival log. Okay. Another master chest. Okay, got it. 35 lockpicks. Fuck yeah, totally worth it. Holy hell. Warren bowl. On scrap metal. Fine fur clothes. Interesting. Oh, uh, here we go. Big ass soul gem, soul trap. Read twin secrets, enchanting. Cool. Not the dwarven helmet I'm looking for. Ruined book I'll take. Ruined book I'll take. Dwarven metal ingot. I'll take that. Ruined book. Good to go. Okay, well... That goes to the Forgotten City. Let's check out and see if I can even open this fucking door. Requires key. Thought so. Now, was that ghost supposed to drop a key? I'm unfamiliar. But for now, let's go check out that purple glowing door. The one that he said he locked. Maybe, um... Uh, Oh, shit. Wee. Mm. 
There's the lake house. Yeah, that does look like a purple glowing. Yeah, it requires key. I don't know why I got a thing for that. Let's check out the journal here. It says, read the old man's suicide note or an explorer to find a way out. Okay. I wonder if that ghost was supposed to have a key on him and he just despawned immediately and fucked me. That would be on brand. Is that Wanathan over there? You okay, bud? Let's check down here, see if there's anything. Are those fish? Those are fish. Single fish. Iron mace. Another master chest. Holy shit, dude. Got it. Dwarven bow of shock blasts. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, herein lies the problem. I might, oh, there's a thing of hay back here. I have to Google, do a quick Goog to find out what the hell to do. I'm gonna check down here first though. If there's anything else in the water. Oh, sunken house. Okay, interesting. Something of note, at least. Maybe in here? Or maybe not. <laughs> Why is this a thing I can do if there's nothing in here? Okay, anyway. Let's see here. Another chest. Okay, nothing really of note. Okay, so... Haven't checked all the doors. I don't know where this man's suicide note is. It's not on his body. Oh, okay. I can use this tanning rack. That door doesn't work. Okay, then. Uh, I think those are the only places I haven't checked. Those three doors. And then after that, it's time for a Google search, I think. No, nothing. No, nothing. I thought that was a note. No. Another skeever. Hello, sir. Okay. Still nothing of note here, huh? There's another skeever. Follow the skeevers, I guess. They'll probably know a way out of this place. Let's see if this is an actual... Abandoned palace. Okay. Let's see if there's anything of worth in here. Looks like a bunch of coffins. Yeah, that's not fun. Can I open this door? Seems I cannot open this door. Well. Uh, yep. Time for a Google search. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, cool thing about this is I did not know this was a mod. <laughs> Apparently it's a mod. And God damn it, if that's just not the best fucking feeling ever, it's just thinking you're in a vanilla quest and then all of a sudden, oh, this is actually a mod. Fantastic job. <laughs> that's always what I want to see. Now, 
I think... Empty wine bottle. It said that there's an inkwell here. Now it said that it he his suicide note is like right here somewhere, but I don't see it. Um basically it talks about how this guy is trying to leave and he can't leave, and so he offs himself, which sucks. And then you're supposed to come up here. And we already fought his ghost, so there's that. And the key is actually on the balcony, so I need to go there and do that. Okay, so we're supposed to ex exit to this balcony, and there it is. I completely missed it. Whoop. Okay. Ow. What happened to my moon shoes? Cool. Let's go to the lake house. And then this is as far as I've gotten. Lake house requires key. Let's go, baby. Easy peasy. Okay. Note. Seven years ago, I discovered this wonderful city, uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation. Uh, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again. My For my subjects have been the victim of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you to the past. Uh, before all this began, beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what this... So what set this atrocity in motion and prevent it by any means necessary. I will take all these ruined books and soul gem fragments. Thank you very much. Another master chest. Holy shit. Oh, I unlocked it with the key. Oh, fucking sick. I'll take all that. Okay, cool. Yeah, you writing a letter? She writing a letter. The hell is that? Looks cool. Well, okay. Open strange door. Well. 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 Forget me not. Hello. Find your way back to the original timeline. Holy shit. Oh, and look, all these places are open now. Cool. Let me check the journal. That's fine. Find a way back to your original timeline. Hmm. I see the lake house is still, or that house is still underwater. Yoda, where did you come from? I just arrived. Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Yarl's private lake house. I did. There's a time portal in there which brought me back from the future. Uh, I got lost, dude. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Fair enough. Your laws? Don't hurt anyone. Don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. The Jarl can tell you more and help you get settled in. Might even have some quarters for you. I can take you to him if you like. Uh, sure. Follow me. 
So this is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage, and potato. If potato. you are good, the merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings. Just what we brought in with us. Morning, Gulvar. Morning, Nismar. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course. Huh. But these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the Citadel folk. Take Yolman, for example, standing up there on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, Yolman, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk drinker. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with drinking milk, bro? Come on now. I'm also a milk Aren't drinker. Aren't you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Galvar? We're on our way to see the yard. There'll be time for you to get your claws into our friend here later. I look forward to it. You should come for a drink. You got claws too, bro. Sentinel tonight. Just about everyone's there after dark. Be careful with Rastasia. She. Well. It's not my place to say. You slut shaming her, bro? In this place That's it cool. Is. It's a small city after all. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 if you don't count Brandis, who's halfway to the next life. Luke is barely managing to keep him alive. Mm. Hello, sir. I trust you're on your way to speak with the Jarl. Uh, yep, sure am. Hi. Enter the Citadel. Maybe? Enter, please? Okay, there we go. This is the Citadel, where the Jarl and his guests if you manage to worm your way in with them, you Why might be a dead to goat. Too. Hello. Gulva, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Owl's farm, not trudging dirt into his citadel. Sure, man, take it easy, would you? I was just showing our new friend here to the Jarl. Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulva. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. Let's yeah, good meeting you too. Chat anytime you like. I'm sorry about that. That probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Yormund. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? I am close behind you. It's good to see a new face here. Haven't had any new arrivals in a while. Since Marius. But he mostly keeps to himself. Bit secretive, actually. Most people are pretty friendly though. And so they should be. This is the closest you'll get to Sovereign Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. That's even good to know. Steal something without breaking the doors <laughs> law. It's not as if you could sell it to anyone here. True. Sure, your fencing operation is very limited. Am I gonna have to follow you up all these stairs? All f fucking four floors? Hello, ma'am. Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. Do come and say hello when you're free. Always got her nose buried in a book, that one. Helps out Brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. You should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the Citadel kitchen. Remember to be polite to our cook Sanchi. She does the best with what she has, which isn't much. I knew that was the kitchen. To the Yarl has his own floor. That's insane. That makes sense. 
There's some steam coming off that wall. There's a couple of things you should know about him if you want to make a good impression. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before the rest of us anyway. So the Citadel is his. And where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place and won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. So be on your best behavior and you should be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just a little... Little penis from the future. From the future! He doesn't care. Anyway... Just waiting on him, waiting on the man. I'm assuming that's the Jarl. This is the top of the Citadel. The bathhouse is off limits, and I'm not even sure what's behind the gold door. Oh, the Jarl has ever gone in there. Really? Interesting. Who are you, Sato? Is there anything I should know? Anything else? All right, you're on your own from here. Okay, I've that's what I thought. Armors to supervise. Good luck with the yard, and I'll see you around. You got it, bud. There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to my city. I'm Yarl Metellus. Tell me, what is your name? My name is Tardy Penis. It's always exciting to meet a new member of our small community. Now, before I forget, since you're here for good, you'll need some quarters. Here's a key to the last vacant chambers down in the city, between cool. Roll and Luki. It's all yours. Now tell me, what brings you to my city? Oh, please don't push him off the fucking cliff, Serana. That'd be nice. If you didn't do that, holy shit. Actually, you sent me here from the future. Oh my God, bitch, you were fucking, you were making me scream inside. Uh, <laughs> you sent me here from the future to save this city. I sent you here. I, I'm not Oh, sure please stop moving mean. back. Here's the letter you will write shortly after the city is destroyed. Well, let's see. This is my handwriting. The victims of an unspeakable atrocity. I will open a portal that will take you into the past. You must go back. Gotta this, get back. Back to the past, real, Samurai isn't? Jack. I've even toyed with the idea of creating a portal between two points in time, with Brawl's help. But that's odd. My letter makes no mention of what caused the disaster. I suppose I was in a hurry. So tell me, what's going to happen to us? I don't know, but it was dark and there was a burnt corpses everywhere. That's exactly what I saw when I first discovered this place several years ago. It seems whatever happened then is going to happen again. Mm, I wonder I if it has, it has to do with to do the with fucking the sun. Lore. Oh this no. Bad. This is very, very bad. Yeah, I'd say so. The dwarves law. Yes, you see. The dwarves who built this place left inscriptions. Brawl hasn't been able to fully translate. Dude, this man is living on the edge literally. Holy some shit. Parts. This warning keeps coming up. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. We think that breaking the law here will cause some kind of event. The truth is, I've used the dwarves' law to frighten my people into obedience. And it's worked so far. But someone's about to break that law. Let me think. Hmm. Your arrival here is exactly what I need. You've helped me a great deal by bringing this note to my attention. I wonder if you could do me another favor. Uh, it depends. What do you want from me? I need you to investigate the city. Talk to my people. Help them, if it'll win their trust. You can even go through their possessions, if you have to. You must work out who is going to break the Dwarves' law. Once you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. As Jarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you- Uh-oh. 
What the fuck just happened? What? What do you mean? What do you- what? What do you mean? Uh, 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 I don't know what happened. Toronto, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I feel like that was the whole thing that I should reload. I don't know. I'm going to save it real quick. I'm actually going to go back to Googling that because... I don't think that was supposed to happen. Be a great deal. I need you to investigate them. You must work out who is going to break. As Yarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you need to go, including private homes. But if someone asks you to leave, you should do so immediately. Okay, so I re- No! Serana, I swear to fucking God, if you do this again, I'm going to push you off. <laughs> if I help you, will you get, uh, help me get back to my own time and out of the city? I can't promise either of those things, but I will certainly do everything within my power to help you once you've helped my people. And of course, if you decide to stay, I would make sure you enjoy a comfortable life here. Now, what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, I will help you because killing you has skipped the entire quest and it is a long one. So thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from or what may be about to happen here. People do foolish things when they panic. If it helps you, you're welcome to borrow the book on my desk. It contains the names and addresses of my subjects. Just don't show it to anyone. Goodbye for now, and good luck. I don't need to tell you what will happen if you fail. Okay, immediately go back inside, please, before you fall off. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I did reload. It is a long quest. Which looks incredible. So... Uh, he said there's a book on his desk of everyone's citizen arrival log. Oh, okay. Okay, so why can't I pick up this book? I can't take it. But it's got a list of everyone here. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. This has been quite the fucking journey, surprisingly. Oh, all these books aren't ruined now. Interesting. What the hell is that? Torch bug in a jar? I'm not going to steal that. But, yeah, holy crap, we have such... We uncovered just a huge quest line, which I was not expecting. But we're going to dive in deep next time. We're going to start talking to all these people. We're going to find out who is in the wrong. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. And Serana and Cat Vegetable. Well, Serana's taking a break, I guess. Oh, she's up. Okay. So, last time we got sent back to the past... Uh, to find out what happens to this city of burnt corpses. And we had quite a bit of fun <laughs> on the balcony there. But uh, this time we're going to be... We're, we're probably just going to be talking to a lot of people this episode, honestly. Which is totally fine. But one thing that I do want to say before we get started is that I had a comment on the last video by Hybrid Hawk. He said it was a mod so good that they actually made a full game out of it. 
And sure as shit, there is in fact a full game called The Forgotten City. And it's on sale right now for 10 bucks. That's insane. And it's got fucking 96 positive reviews. Well, 96%, you know what I mean? But yeah, it looks super cool and interesting. And that has made me just so more excited for the actual mod. <laughs> But all right, that's enough talking. Let's start talking. <laughs> Got my eye on ya. <laughs> okay, cool. Is, is it because you only have one eye? What's your story? What? Did you say something to me? Yes, I asked you what your story is. No use talking to me, young one. Can't hear a word you're saying. Both uh -huh. me ears went years ago. Still got my one good eye, though. All I need. Used to be a vigilant of Stender till I slipped up. You take mm. it from me. You ever find yourself toe to toe with the flame at Redoc? You make sure you put some distance between you before you kill it. Otherwise, whoosh. Eyes, ears, and hair gone. All at the same time. Well, that's cool. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Didn't catch a word. Yeah, I figured. And I'll be honest, being deaf ain't half so bad as you'd think. No one bothering you asking questions. Well, I'm going to go through the whole dialogue tree just to make sure. Uh, why does the Jarl need a guard with dwarves' laws? Sorry, young one. No <laughs> idea what you're saying. How the fuck does he communicate with people? I'm, I'm going. You can't hear ya. Okay, well, I'm just going to walk away then. You have, you have a good day, sir. Um... Is there anyone else? Now we have the key. Does the key go to here? I doubt it. Especially in the past. Okay. Maybe there's a way to open up that gate in the past so that when we go back to the future, it's open. You know what I'm saying? That'd be neat. Actually, did I just go down one floor? Am I stupid? Yeah, I did just go down one floor, right? I didn't skip anyone. Okay. I was about to say. I want to talk to everyone here. So let's start. Okay, there's no one here. There's someone. Just gonna take a look in these rooms here. Hello, lady. No. Hello. Gaia. What's your story? I'm Gretchen from Hyrak. I've studied history at the Imperial City, which led me to Skyrim in search of Glomo ruins. And now I'm here. Some days I just can't believe my luck. Working with Bro, researching the richest source of Dremor history and technology I could have imagined. I feel like we're on the brink of some amazing discoveries about the Dremor. Who knows? Maybe we'll find not all of them have disappeared. Uh, can you tell me about the history of this place? I could. But Brawl knows much more than I do. You should be able to find him in his chambers down the city. Okay. Uh, do you know a way out of here? A way out of here? Are you kidding? Why would I want to get out of here? I can't think of a single place in all time real I'd rather be. Fair enough. I like training in the Arja Speechcraft. Do you need help with any of your research? Now that you mentioned it, I do. I need you to get something for me, and it won't be easy. I've tried everything I can think of, and still, nothing. There's a big Nord living down in the city called Rikus. You may have seen him walking around in an immaculate example of Dwarven armor. I need that armor. It's the only one like it, and I believe it to be crucial in unlocking the secret of this place. The trouble is, huh. before I could get a good look at it, that brute Rikus claimed it as his own, and has been wearing it ever since. I've tried everything. Appeals to his better nature, flattery, charm, even threats. It's like negotiating with a brick wall. The only thing I haven't tried is violence. And you know how that would end. But I'm convinced there's a way to get it. There has to be. 
All right, I'll give it a try. Thank you. If you do manage to get it, you're welcome to keep it. I just need to have a quick look at it. That's all. Okay, cool. That probably has a helmet included. Uh, I'd like training in the of art course. of speechcraft. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Okay, so it only costs five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'll be going now. That's fine. I've got a lot of reading to do if I'm going to know half as much as Brawl one day. Okay, cool. Is there anyone else on this floor? Doesn't seem like it. A bunch of stuff to steal, which I'm not really... Not looking to kill everyone here. Just for a fucking coin. Or something. Let's go down another level. See who else we can talk to. Should be people here. And doesn't look like there's anyone here. Ah, there's someone. Oh, there's two people. All right, we'll start with you. What is it? Domitus. What's oh, your story? Sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect Why me to are explain you praying? myself to you? To him. <laughs> My apologies, I am Tarty Penis, and I'm new here. I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here, and I'm at the top of it. After the yowl, of course. So work <laughs> hard and do what I tell you, or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion. Got it? My apologies, I didn't mean to upset you. I don't like your attitude. I think I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> Uh, you know, speaking to the people like that is going to provoke someone to hit you. Nonsense. Not even a peasant like you would be stupid enough to do that. Everybody knows it would break the dwarf's law and get us all killed. So I'll speak to you and the other peasants as I see fit, and there's nothing you can do about it. Got it? Now well, that's get rude out as of fuck. my sight. I'm sick of you. I will say his logic is pretty sound, yeah, he, though. He can hear us. Okay. Not here. He can hear us. Okay, well, I don't know where you want me to go. But whatever. Oh, wow, he's a dick. Let me try talking to him again. Just to see if I can get those other dialogue option trees. No. Me, I don't want anyone seeing okay. Us Fair enough. Let's see down here if there's anyone still here. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Where does this door go to? Oh, there is someone in here. Oh, and he's doing shit. Hello. Oh, look, I have a visitor. How lucky for me. Yeah, I'm starting not to like these people. <laughs> What's your story? My story? It's about a quiet man who preferred to keep to himself. Short and sharp. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Yes, I do. Death. Death is the only way out of here. I'll be going now. <laughs> you do that. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Well, I'm assuming this leads back into the Forgotten City. We've got a ton more of people to talk to. Okay. It's nice and green. I like it over here. Hello, lady. Oh. There's a looter coming into the city. What did you see? I saw a man come down the shaft, but he was armed and he looked like a looter. If he makes it into the city and starts attacking people, he'll break the dwarves law and who knows what will happen. You have to stop him. Everybody go home and lock your doors. Okay, I'll take care of it. Don't even worry about it. Everybody uh, stay calm. The penis is on it. Oops. Okay. There we go. Oh, these display cases are all... Oh, there's stuff in there. 
Oh, so we could probably lockpick those. Huh, did I fuck this up? Where is my journal? Go through the city entrance to stop the looters from coming down the shaft. Okay. I don't see any looters. Maybe they're down here? No? Huh. Is there supposed to be a dude over here? I don't understand. Is that not the main entrance in the shaft? Let's talk to you. Oh, you're probably running away. Yeah. Okay, well, shit. Now she won't talk to me until I take care of the looters. And it looks like everybody's running away. Oh, who the fuck is that now? I see you creeping over there, bro. Who the hell are you? Oh! You <laughs> fucking bitch slap, dude. Holy shit. Okay, is that all of them? Was it just the one guy? Hello, sir. What can I do for you, my friend? Do you know a way out of here? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the Dwarves law. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. <laughs> Nothing new to me, anyways. Okay, what can you tell me about the Dwarves law? Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's about all I know. You should go and talk to Brawl in his chambers if you want to know more. Okay, I'll get going. Well, come on back any time you like. Okay, well, I took down one of them. Can't wait to oh, on your oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit if you yield. Yeah. Oh ho! Oh ho! Cool. Okay, you're a good guy. Scared me. What are gauntlets? Do I not have those? I totally don't. I have everything else, though. Okay, was that everyone? The quest didn't update, so I'm assuming it was not. Oh, but people were out and about again, Hello so. There. Hello, Habik. What's your story? I'm Habik. Why are you glowing? I live out back with my wife, Miranda. We used to live in solitude, but... Same. Uh... We had to leave. Found this place by accident. Like most. The Jarl needed someone to mind the store. So, okay, well that's cool. Restoration increased. Okay. Is that everyone? No, oh, you're still running and hiding? Okay, where the hell are the rest of these looters? Alright, is anyone over here? I'll look down, see if there's anyone. Don't see any more bodies. Ah, here we go. Wait, no? Who the hell are you? What do you want? Oh, you're the one with the armor. 
Okay, well, we'll come Bye. back to you. I don't see any more looters, so I'm gonna go try and... Oh, there's a hidden chest here. Cool. Oh, there's still more, huh? Dark Brotherhood Warlock? What the hell? I didn't even know that was a thing. Go through the city engine to stop the loose from coming down the shaft. Warlock's orders, ebony dagger. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, thank the, the looters are dead. What a relief. We're so lucky that you arrived. <laughs> Look, she's like, are you talking to another woman? I'll be sure to tell everyone what you've done for us. Thank you so much. If there's ever anything my husband to and I can do to help you, just ask. So what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. My husband Tabik runs the clothing store in town. You should stop Dude, she by. She is on edge. <laughs> I'm sure you'll leave looking much better. N not that you don't look good now. I mean, it's just, you know, nice clothes are. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm no good at selling anything. I guess that's why they've got me sweeping the floors day in, day out. Well, that, and we weren't invited to be layabouts in the Jarl's Citadel. Layabouts? Did you see anyone working in the Citadel? I'll bet you didn't. They just amuse themselves all day while those of us down here do all the work. And why? Because Abik's a Redguard and I'm a Breton. I bet if we were both Imperial, it'd be a different story. The worst part is we left Solitude to get away from bigoted Nords after our son died. <laughs> but here, the Imperials are even worse. Yeah, good luck about getting away from racism in this game. <laughs> Can I ask you of something? Of course. What happened to your son? Oh, uh, no offense, but I'd rather not talk about it. Wow, the Too little hesitation in her voice was so good. And besides, there are enough sad stories around this place as it is. But if you're interested, you can talk to my husband, Habik, in his shop, Firefly Finery. Let's talk about something else. Ever thought about challenging the Jarl? <laughs> no, let's All talk right. about something else. Uh, do you know a way out of here? If I did, Habik and I probably wouldn't be here. But Ulrin's wife managed to escape a while back. He doesn't like to talk about it, but you might be able to get him to open up, I suppose. Huh. Okay, ask him about his disappeared wife. I'll be going nice now. Nice to talk to you. You See too. You soon. Thank you. Now, is this dude still sitting here? Hey, Habik. Miranda told me you cut down those looters before they breached the city gates. Well done, my friend. Okay. Well done. Weird. Yeah, no problem. What's your story? I'm Habik. I live out back with my wife, Miranda. Lived in solitude during a little accident. Someone to mind the store. So I volunteered. Doesn't make any money, of course. Not enough customers. The Jarl says he likes to keep us busy and out of trouble. But of course, he and all his cronies in the Citadel never seem to lift a finger. Why did you leave Solitude? Our son was working at my stables outside the city. He was alone when he had a visit from some Imperial, a cousin of the High King. This Imperial thought he'd just take one of the horses as a tithe. Guess he didn't think a 12-year-old boy was going to stop him. But Limar wouldn't stand for it. And as the thief rode off, my son managed to shoot an arrow into his shoulder. But I... I wasn't there at the time. I came back from the market to find my son's body, trampled in the dirt. It was... I... I can't begin to describe it. I was shattered. I went straight Rip. to Torig's court and demanded justice. But I guess that word doesn't mean much to an Imperial. Instead, he seized my stables, 
and told me if I ever set foot in solitude again, my wife and I would end up the same way as Lamar. God damn. So we left. Wandered Skyrim for a while, and eventually wound up here. I was hoping this place would be better. I was wrong. That sucks. Um, sorry to hear that. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's All not right. go around talking about overthrowing the Jarl just yet. Do you know a way out of here? No, I don't. But I'd wager that if anyone does know a way out, it's the Jarl. But of course, if he told anyone, he'd be ruling over an empty city. True. I'll be going now. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Now, one thing I want to check out is this, um, uh, this mine shaft or whatever the hell it was. The one that crumpled in on top of us. Underground tunnels. Because hopefully it hasn't collapsed yet. Yep, sure enough. Okay, this is definitely where I wanted to look. And this goes just down, 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 down. What is that now? Immaculate Dwarven Helmet. Well, I found it. Okay, so all I have to do... Whoa, 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 why am I dying? Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Find a way to protect yourself from the radiation. You know, I bet it has something to do with that fucking armor. I bet that immaculate armor can protect me from the radiation. That makes sense, which means I'd have to get it from the dude anyway. She said I could keep it too if I get it from him, so. Huh. Okay, well I say we just keep talking to people. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. I'll go one by one eventually, but right now I'm just gonna gonna look for new people weird actually what time is it it's 9 p.m. okay I already talked to you right guy yes I don't know what the hell that was shaking my screen like crazy you sir I don't believe I've talked to hey, Veron I hear you Vernon those swiftly great work Oh. You wouldn't believe how often you want Oh, uh, okay, I did. I did talk to you. Once you get you, the many shall suffer. Well, come on back anytime. Okay. You like. Cool. You're still up here practicing. Heard you got to kill those looters. Wish I could have joined you. I haven't been allowed to fight in years. Uh, what's your story? Get out of my face, milk drinker. Why does everybody hate milk drinkers? That's so stupid. I love milk. Why does that make me a bad person? <laughs> what's your my problem? My problem is that I'm the only one around here whose head isn't buried in the sand. That's my problem. Fair enough. What do you mean? I mean, everyone acts like nothing's wrong, but we're one stupid mistake away from being wiped out, like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming, whatever that is. And when it hits, it's every man for himself. You've been warned. Uh, what do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling these statues are watching us? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Okay. Do you know where you're out of here? If I did, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you. That's what everybody says, yep. About that shiny dwarven armor you're wearing. What about it? I need it to complete the set. I'd like to buy it from you. That's probably the good, good. Give it to me or I'll kill you and take it. Are there any others like it? Nope. This is the only one like it in the whole city. 
I'd like to buy it from you. It's not for sale. Okay. I need it to complete the set. Not my problem. Okay. I want oh. it. Well, in that case, you still can't have it. Let me be clear. The only way you'll get this armor is if you peel it from my corpse. God, okay, fine. Uh -huh. You're such a dickhole. Okay, well, let's see if this place is still locked off. Because there was a ton of coffins in here. And in Palace. Okay, it looks like the thing is still cut off, but there's a lot less coffins, more coffins. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get in there. Oh, there's some dwarven gloves, though. Maybe I can. Oh, did he have the gloves? I don't think he had gloves on. So maybe we have to, like, find each one piece by piece and then kill him to get it. I don't know. Beats me, man. Interesting. Okay. And now, since I've talked to everyone I've could, anyone I've could, um, I am going to wait until it is daytime so that everybody's out of their house and I'm going to go snoop in. Okay, nine. All right, so... Who are you? Brawl. Hello, neighbor. I understand we have you to thank for dispensing with some would-be looters. So, thank you. What's your story? My story? What a strange question. You presuppose that my life is a simple linear sequence of events which can be summed up in a verbal narrative? Well, that's Jesus not Christ, sense, this course. fucking guy. First, most of it was so long ago I barely remember. Second, you would have to assume that the account I give you is biased heavily in my favor, and is therefore quite unreliable. And finally, my story is really much less interesting than this mysterious place. Now, oh, I'll you give you that one. Sensible questions, or can I get back to work? Second thought, never mind. I just wanted to know what you do and where you're from. Well, why didn't you say so? I researched dwarven history and technology, and I'm originally from Cragenmore. In Morrowind. Any other questions? Do you know a way out of here? Now, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I personally don't know any way out, no. However, I have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. My thinking is that if there was a way out of here, the dwarves who built this place must have known about it. But the dwarves disappeared ages ago. True. But we can learn all sorts of things about them from what they left behind. Inscriptions, architecture, relics, statues. And while I've discovered many things here, there are some parts of the city I haven't been able to get to. Like the one down I'm in the- I'm most interested in the palace, above the lake. Ah. Oh. Unfortunately, it's sealed up tight. Only one man ever managed to enter, and he never came out. The one that with the dwarven gloves. Us, and we haven't heard from him in years. Strange fellow. I believe he was looking for the secrets of the dwarves, too. If you could find a way in there, I'm sure it would tell us a great deal about this place. Who knows what secrets we could uncover? Okay, find a way into the abandoned palace. Uh, what can you tell me about the laws here? Well, the dwarves who built this city left inscriptions in the citadel. Which translate to, the many shall, the many suffer, shall the suffer the sins of the, sins one. Of the one. Yep. My research leads me to believe that if a single member of our community sins, it'll trigger an event, killing us all. I believe such an event occurred some years ago, which is why Metellus found the city littered with burnt corpses. But to this day, there are many questions we simply don't have answers for. How is the Dwarf's Law still being enforced? How does it work? And we may never know. As long as nobody attacks or steals from anybody else. Until we know more, we all need to be on our best behavior. True. Uh, do you know anything about time travel? 
Time travel. Just asking for a friend. You no, know, as it happens, I do. It was a great obsession of mine for years after. After my wife passed. I thought if I could go back, I. I gave up on that idea a long time ago. But recently, the Jarl has asked to see my research notes. How strange that you should now take an interest too. Can I ask what the nature of your interest is in this unusual subject? I traveled here from the future and I want to go back. Uh, I, uh, I don't quite know what to say to that. Hmm, how can I put this charitably? Perhaps you're tired and emotional and need some rest. But I always enjoy discussing my theories with a receptive mind. So I'll humor you. What did you want to ask? If you traveled to the past, how would you return to the present? For argument's sake, if you found yourself in that position, you'd have only two options. To live out your days in the past, or force a paradox. A paradox, you see, would involve changing the past so as to prevent the events which caused you to travel back in time in the first place. But you'd be taking a big risk by doing that. Who knows what the consequences would be? Some say that whatever you do, it will lead you right back to the future that took you back in time in the first place. An eternal loop, if you will. But me, I believe that creating a paradox should fling you back to your original time, having changed the past for you and everyone else. How would I create a paradox? Well, let's say for argument's sake that you really have traveled here from the future. You could create a paradox in a few different ways. Like murdering the Jarl? <laughs> could do anything that would remove Pushing him off a cliff? Or motivation to return to the past. For example, you came here to achieve some goal. Achieving that goal would mean you will never have been motivated to come here. A paradox. Or, if the thing that allowed you to travel back in time is still here, as a past version of itself, you could simply destroy it, I suppose. That would mean that's course, the one I did that you will never have been able to travel back in time. Another paradox. But doing so could have terrible consequences. But if you really are from the future, as unlikely as that is, telling me or anybody else what happens next could have disastrous consequences too. I think it's best if we talk about something else. Fair enough. Uh, what can you tell me about the harmful energy under the city? Ah, uh, yes. Fascinating, isn't it? It seems to be radiating from something deep beneath the city. But I've never been down far enough to see what it is. But if the dwarves were able to access the quarry that appears to be down there, presumably they had a way to protect themselves from it. So perhaps a full suit of dwarven armor would protect you. Not just any old dwarven armor, though. It would have to be in immaculate condition. Yep. Okay. What's with the big glowing orb above us? <laughs> that is the sun under the ground. Or at least that's how it's referred to. In oh, the hello. I haven't talked to you either. To translate. I must confess, I haven't the faintest idea of how it works. But it seems to be giving us light and allowing us to grow crops, even under the ground. Of course, if it ever stops glowing, for whatever reason, we'll all be in quite a lot of trouble. But don't concern yourself with such dark thoughts. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. I found some immaculate dwarven armor. Ah, yes. Most dwarven armor you see these days is quite badly worn. But this piece is still perfect, after thousands of years. It also seems to have some magical properties. It should protect you from the harmful energy down in the tunnels below the city. It all but killed Brandis when he went down there. But he didn't have a full set. If you can get down there safely, let me know what you discover. Okay, I'll be going now. Very well. Come back if you think of any questions about something you discover. True. Luki. Oh, a new person. Well, welcome to our city. Or whatever it is the Jarl tells us to say. Uh, what is your story? I'm Luki. I'm what passes for an alchemist and healer around here. I'll be honest. I don't much care for dealing with people, 
or healing them. But I wouldn't <laughs> trust anyone else around here with the responsibility. And I guess somebody's got to do it, right? True. Sounds like you don't think much of your neighbors. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like my neighbors. I don't like anyone. Stupid, untrustworthy, <laughs> selfish, ugly creatures Fair enough. humans are. Fair enough. But you know what? At your least cat lady? down here, people are on their best behavior most of the time. What with the dwarves' law and all. I mean, people are still bastards, but at least they have to be discreet about it. Nobody's openly violent, and nobody's ever stolen anything from me. Huh. Do you know a way out of here? There isn't one. This place is like a firefly trap. One way in, no way out. Could be worse, though. You could be living in bloody Skyrim. <laughs> About... Brandis? Ah, uh, yes. Poor Brandis. I've been doing my best to keep the poor fool alive. What of him? What happened to him? He came here with his partner, full of big talk about how Stendar sent them to purge some great evil from beneath the city. Now, none of us know exactly what's down there. But if there is a great evil, then it made the mighty Stendar look like a milk drinker. All I really? know is nobody with half a brain should go down there. Not without a way to protect themselves from the energy that killed poor Brandis. About yes. Brandis? What, what about, about him? him? Can I help in some way? Uh, yes, I suppose. Just go down and check up on him for me, would you? His house is not far from here, down in the inner ring of the city. Okay, I'll be going now. All right, see you soon, neighbor. <laughs> So it looks like he doesn't have boots or gloves or a helmet. He's just got the armor, the chest piece. So we're going to have to find those. Oh. Got a missing ring. Gold ring. Along to my deceased son. High sentimental value. Reward available for retrieval. Okay. We can talk to them. So... First things first, let's go in here and see. So you're the one who killed all those people. Did it make you feel like a big hero? Have you asked yourself who's going to clean up all your mess? You know what? That's a fair point. And yes, it did make me feel like a big penis. The honest traitor. Okay. Hello. How are you, Douglin? Ah, the bandit slayer. Good to see you. What's your story? My story? Well, my name is Degland, and I'm a man. Degland? Yeah. What's people say to me? Degland? They say, Degland, why are you a merchant? They find it surprising because I'm such an honest and trustworthy person. And sometimes you hear about your merchants who are, you know, dishonest. Well, I say to those people, I'm not like them. My father used to say to me, Degland, you can't be like the others. You be a good boy. And I was, my friend. I was not only just a good boy. I was the best boy. The best boy now. And the Who's best the best best boy? With the best Who's the best boy? You. you know a way out of here? My friend, you're in luck. I actually do. You're but, in luck. Uh, let's keep it down, eh? Don't want anyone else to hear, do we? But, uh... I'll be honest with you, my friend. I'm looking after you. There's a bit of a catch. See, it's only going to work for one person yet. I've been keeping it to myself, you know, thinking maybe I'll need it myself one day. But uh, I'm a reasonable guy yet. I reckon I could be, what's the word, persuaded? Persuaded to give it away for, say, a thousand gold coins? Um... Mm, I can pay them. I'd like more information friend, first. I can tell you it involves magic. Very special and very rare magic. But uh, I shouldn't say any more than that. I need to eat, you know. You know, I'll pay you. Oh, good choice, my friend. You won't regret it. Oh, and if you do, no refunds. Not that it'll matter. Because you'll be out of here in no time. 
And here it is. It's called an elixir of acrobatics. I got it from an alchemist in Morrowind years ago, and I've kept it with me just in case. And now it's all yours. Once you you want me to jump, you'll be able to jump back like a up. And you should be able to leap up to the, the shaft. shaft. The entrance. Now go, my friend. Get out of here and be free. Huh. That's funny. But I still what have more questions. Purchase, my what have we got the for best sale? Is for you, my friend. You just got a bunch of shit. Yeah, don't need that. Ring of Meyer sneaking. That might actually be good for sneaking around and seeing what's what. A jug of milk. I'm a milk drinker, baby. Fuck you. Moon sugar? Isn't that... Isn't that cocaine or something? <laughs> the standing stones? I'll buy these just because I haven't read them. And then I don't really need anything else. Uh, let's go read those books. I don't need them for the... For the museum. But I'd still like to read them Until just cause. Time. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Standing stones. Cool. Warlock's orders. I forgot to read this. My sweet child, if Quintus thinks he can hide from his own family, he is even <laughs> he is even a greater disappointment than I thought. He may have eluded his other siblings, but I know you won't let me down this as they did. Uh, take some of your playthings and find out where that venomous little spider is hiding. And when you find him, sweetling. Do what you do best. Him. Quintus. Okay, so is there a Quintus anywhere? Purchase, my friend. Find Quintus and investigate whether he's a threat. Okay, requires key. Underground tunnels, eh? Interesting. So. What do you want? I think for now we're gonna go and look at some of these other firefly finery hello sir is that a beak yeah what do you got for sale my guy the superior dwarven helmet welcome to fire about your missing ring ah you saw my notice then what about it i'd like to help any idea where i should start looking thank you the ring belonged to my son Long. Yeah, we saw. He wore it everywhere. He told me it was a gift from a strange wood elf he met in the forest once. It was the only thing I had to remind me of him. But a while ago, I dropped it down the stairs in my shop, and it rolled under a door at the bottom. The trouble is, I've never been able to unlock the door, or work out what's down there. But I'm sure it's possible huh. because I hear noises down there. So I'll bet that somebody somewhere in the city knows a way down there. And who knows what else you'll find once you get in. Interesting. Yes. Have you found I'm still oh. looking. All right. What do you have for Only sale? The finest clothes in town. And some fucking stuff. Yeah, some fucking bullshit, dude. Weird. Okay. Orvin armor. Anything I need for the museum? Doesn't look like it. Okay. See you again soon. Well, I, I guess every shop has an underground oh. tunnel. Okay, well, that's weird. Interesting. The plot thickens, eh? I don't like that you're just walking around with the fucking axe. Like you're gonna kill everyone. Try this one now. I didn't read the... I didn't read the sign. <laughs> or what it said. Hello, Vernon. 
What can I do for you, my friend? What's your story? I'm Vernon, your friendly grocer and all around nice guy. You want fresh food? You're in the right place. You want. Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, no. Someone just slid another letter under my door. Could you. Uh. Do me a favor and grab that before anyone else sees it. What? Vernon, you are an abomination. Remember the dwarves' law, the many shall suffer the sins of the one. You may have hidden your sins from the dwarves so far, but they they're the least of your worries, your neighbor. Uh-oh. Well, what did it say? Why is somebody writing you threatening letters? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. It's not as if I'm a vampire or a necromancer or anything. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Ah. Well, nothing gets by you, does it? Sorry, that was me for me. Do the dwarves yes. consider that a sin? I like men. And when you grow up in Windhelm like I did, you expect a bit of hostility. Whoa, Serana, what the fuck was that? And driven away by angry nords <laughs> to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... What was it? 20 years? Living in the barracks with a dozen other guardsmen. Watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly. Until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. And that's when I came clean. Needless to say... Since I'm now living underground on the opposite corner of Skyrim, my openness didn't go well among the Nords of Windhelm. But at least down here, I get to be who I am. That's or, cool. At least, I thought that was the case. Perhaps I was wrong. Hmm. Do you know who's writing these notes? No, I don't. I keep my personal affairs to myself, and I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. It wouldn't usually bother me. I have a thick skin, and I can handle myself in a fight better than most. But if these threats keep getting worse, eventually my secret admirer is going to get violent and break the dwarves laws. Let me look into it for you. What? Really? I didn't expect that, but thanks. It's always a relief to meet someone who's so open-minded. I'm glad you're here. I'd start by working out who uses dread ink or ugh, blood on their letters. Interesting, come yeah. Back and let me know what you find. That is a good starting point. Any luck? What do you have for sale? Foods, potions, all sorts of things. Okay, yeah, potions, foods, all sorts of things. Cool. I'll be going now. Back soon. Interesting start to a to an interesting investigation. Well, calm down. Hoopa. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I'm gonna call it there. We still have plenty of things to talk about and talk to, and I need to search all these people's houses, which I'm assuming is what they are. Yeah. House, 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 underground tunnels. Ooh, I didn't see that. House, house, house. Those are all good. And then you got the Citadel, Citadel. Scholar's house, chambers, chambers, house. Golden Sentinel Tavern. Okay. And then... House, 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 house. Okay, so we still got quite a bit of shit to go through. Plus the lake house and the sunken house. We should actually check that sunken house now that we're in the past. Maybe there's something over there that's like different. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to call it there. What a cool concept. What a cool detective mystery we got going on here. There's so many threads that you can go through. There's so many like paths you can take. And I'm super excited and interesting about this. I'll see you in the next one.